Hello everyone and welcome once again to the Initiative Order and to Chalice Twilight Robes, the semi-regular show where I question my life choices and help these degenerates through the world of Chalice and everything that comes to meet them. Now before we say hello to everyone, work out where they are and who they are and all that good stuff, we're going to check in with our regular sponsors and make sure everyone is still there and still lending you guys a hand. As always, if you're ever looking for some wonderful kind of TTRPG uh, clothing, anything to show your interests when you're out and about beyond, you know, the obvious things of just screaming your hobbies at people, uh, you can head on over to Session Zero Clothing, where you'll find a load of D&D inspired streetwear. Uh, you can use the code ORDER at checkout there for 15% off. If you're looking for some nice fancy dice, and as our resident goblin will attest to Jago, you can never have enough. Uh, head on over to North Foundry, uh, where they make some lovely, lovely click clack rocks, and you can use the phrase TIO15 at checkout there, again, for 15% off. If you're looking for a few bit, a few more dice, again, Jago, please put, tell them how many more they need. Um, yes. Thank you. Uh, you can <laughs> run straight on over to uh, Mithril Armory and you'll find uh, some wonderful ones there. Uh, you've got the t tin d20s that you can kind of put together yourself. Um, some sketch dice you can colour in and make them dark and depressing or wonderful and colourful as you choose. And you can use the phrase initiative for 10% off of their web store. And finally, guess what? More dice. Yeah. Wonderfully handmade dice uh, by the Initiative Order's very own Taryn. And you can use the code initiative in their store for 10% off as well. So tell you what, you'll let go off shopping, get yourself a shirt and as many dice as you can fit in the pockets of the trousers you can also buy and have a lovely time. Now we have done that. We're going to run around. We're going to say hello to everyone uh, before we potentially say goodbye to one of them this evening. <laughs> Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> it's it can be, and I think I know who it's going to be. It's... Pause for effect. Um, <laughs> Lynn. <laughs> who are you, Lynn? Where are you? What do you do? Hi, I'm I'm Lynn. I play Cecily Marshall. Character is currently in a bar. Um, very cozy. Uh, she is uh, the resident alchemist, kind of sort of doctor esque type person, and um, yes, is still wondering why she's with this group <laughs> uh, the endless screaming of the word doesn't stop amusing why mm -hmm. billy hello uh, i'm billy i play sybil oh, i currently play sybil for how much longer who knows uh i am currently very <laughs> drunk not here but sybil <laughs> is currently very <laughs> drunk um <laughs> I'm a method actor. No. Sybil um, <laughs> is currently very drunk, soon to presumably be very hungover, and is just as confused as you all are tonight. So that should be fun. Thank you very much, Billy. And I would love to take this opportunity to state that I am half cut during every session. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Jago. I play Jack Cooper. I am defaulting to dad of the group by process of elimination. Don't ever put that on any form of child support paperwork. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Holly. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Holly. I play Edlin Castrong, resident who the fuck knows at this point because who the, I don't even know what she does. I used to. I don't anymore. I'm just perplexed and confused and dazed. Currently trying to stop Alistair from getting his uh, beloved sugar from a kid. <laughs> take that how you want to take it. I definitely have I mean, no idea what's going to happen. There's so. a lot of ways I don't want to take that, but moving <laughs> on, he can defend himself. Context. Context. Uh, I'm James. I play Alistair, and I'm just trying to get a little sugar in an uncaring world. That's 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 it, really. That's... That was almost You've tragic. Been... You've just made what I said ten times worse. Oh, I know, that's no. why I said it. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. And and on to our final resident heartbreaker, Max. Uh, yeah, hi, I'm Max. Um, I play Jules Hope. Um, she is at the moment also in a bar. Uh, and also drunk. Um, uh, but uh, I think Jules might be drunk enough to do well in any kind of negotiating. So I think it's going to go well. 
I'll remember that for my next meeting. Drinking equals negotiation. Right. And of course, I am Ben, the deacon of these guys' despair. And I'm going to be guiding our way Very nice. into I try. I try. We're hitting the, com the more complicated letters soon. Yeah, you're going to um, be. Wait, it wasn't already complicated. I, don't, I, can't, I can't do that. Uh, Man I'll said see, deacon. So. I mean, goddamn. I, I'm dreading X. I won't lie. Oh. Um, You're the xylophone. Oh, yeah, xylophone. <laughs> <laughs> oh, xylophone of X-rays. I don't know. That's the only X word I know. It's xylophone fine. of exacerbation. I, I mean, I wouldn't worry. We're going to get cancelled long before then, anyway. Uh, so, with that said and done, over to our, our wonderful, wonderful intro. When everyone is ready, we'll see you again shortly. help i mean <laughs> that was beautiful oh lordy 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 <laughs> hello we're back oh, we are back are we? Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Was... Yay. <laughs> here we are i missed my awful voice crack so it's okay beautiful. <laughs> you just got away with that yeah luckily they don't know yeah true that true that Yo, we I back. started this oh. game, or I started the moment the stream came on, and we jumped into our pre-game call, wondering how long will it take me to relent into a deep, suffering sigh, and the answer was about five minutes in. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry, that long? Five oh, minutes before fine. we started, wasn't it? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Right. Well. Uh. Welcome back, everyone. Um, thank you for sticking around through the intro. Always lovely to see you that. Now, we are going to bring ourselves to the start of the session, and we're going to do so in the same way we always do, which is asking one of our lovely, lovely cast to give us a recap. By the phrase, lovely, lovely cast, we do, of course, completely avoid James who I could see in his expression there, could see that one coming. I'm going to have to get smarter with it. Too easy, mate. Too easy. Yeah. So, would anyone like to volunteer themselves for your two minutes of recap for the wonderful reward of a fancy, fancy boy point? 
I will try. Keyword there being try. Because excellent. Yeah, Your I've time never... started about fifteen seconds ago. Oh, you're so mean. Okay, yeah. so starts off. Jack, Edlin, and Sam. They're at the old campsite. Sam is sleeping. We try to plan a way to get into the village, not village, city, uh, south side. Plan to go into sewers, but then people start traveling on the north road. So we just devise a plan to sneak in through the north road. Apparently, we are now a family. Um, we go to the gate, tell them that we're from I our sign where there was attacks and stuff, and a good old guard there takes pity on us. And in an effort to avoid getting attacked, not attacked, but like getting picked out from the crowd by a stone, I pulled the very good old mother card of my child needs feeding. So they take us into a in, into the tent to get fed. <laughs> I'm trying not to look at the screen because Max and Jacob. <laughs> um, on the other side, on the other side, you have Sybil, Cecily, Jules, Alistair. Uh, they are at the oil lantern. They've met Gingerbeard, also known by Russell. They get very, very, very drunk. We have the amazing "I know you now" line, which still makes me crack up to this day. <laughs> um, everyone apart from Cecily gets drunk out of their mind and pass out on the floor. Cecily finds good old entrance into the actual, I'm going to guess, proper bar. Meets Frank. We love Frank. Um, going back to... We, I don't know why we split the party. Going back to Jack and Edlin, they, they despise a plan to get out. By get out of the tent, I mean they wait till the, guy, the guard goes away. Re, re, re run up the stairs and leg it with Sam. And then uh, we, for some reason, Alistair and Sybil are out looking for the carriage. They're still very drunk after they've woken up. We bump into uh, Alistair and Sybil. They start talking about carrots and sugar, and and then at some point we find the carriage with, surrounded by a bunch of kids. And the kids, Alistair chased off the kids. Edlin chases after Jay, uh, Alistair, and um, while that's and while Alistair's about to kill a kid, there's a random guy in the bar. Yeah, I I started stumbling and then I got lost mm. in my own head. Yeah, the moment that was pretty much everything. That, yeah. was, that was pretty good. Understandably, as soon as you realized, oh, Alistair's about to kill a kid, everything kind of went, uh. Yeah, I get it. <laughs> I probably missed out. There was so much that I needed to say that I couldn't get in, but... It was there, concise. There were, uh, there were after notes that I can explain later, because the bits I did went miss. That was probably not enough for a void point. I, so I probably failed. No, that's good. Uh, was it, was uh, why it, demean yourself? Solid, you did great. Probably. Yeah. Because Ben's looking at me in a way. No, but that don't says... don't look at Ben like that. Ben, ben is a mysterious <laughs> yeah. man. When, when was Ben? When was Ben important to all of this? That, that's a nice way of saying it, Max. Ben is a complete bastard, is what you really meant. <laughs> yeah, but I won that one point. So shut up, Jen. That's a good point. Yeah, I'm sorry. My uh, bad. My bad. My bad. <laughs> Thanks. So yeah, well, well, um, well, yeah. well Holly, I you, you did very well there. You finished exactly as my timer hit zero. So congratulations. Have a void point. Yeah! My first one in months. So happy. I'm Let's gonna see if you up. can keep that going. No, I'm, 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 like there's a reason seconds. I need this. Oh, that's the plan. That is the plan. Would it be immediate spending, change of truth, Alistair dies? <laughs> Heart attack. No, we need the inner part. You didn't tell me I could do that. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. I feel like Max, Max would have done that last <laughs> session. <laughs> so definitely. I would have done that ages ago. <laughs> James wrote re rolled I am never recapping the session again. That was stressful. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, with that, we return back to. The various groups spread throughout South Hurt. We find Cecily and Jules leaning over the counter in the oil lantern, just glancing over at the um, a small group of people that have just come on in and ordered their first drink. We find Jack and Stibble stood outside of the carriage, Sam beside them as they work out exactly what their next step is as Sybil just gently rocks from side to side and with distinct distinctly more control over their faculties we find Edline and Alistair stood in the middle of a crowded street near the river uh, the largest canal in South Hood 
Alistair looming over a child of maybe 12, 13, eyes wild, teeth bared, hand wrapped around the, his, uh, I believe, his collar. Correct me if I'm wrong. And Edelin maybe five, ten feet away, watching as the crowd around attempts to react fast enough before one of you. I simply need both of you to make me an agility athletics check with whoever gets the most successes going first. Are we vaulting momentum? No momentum available yet. Okay. You'd think she'd be good at agility athletics, but apparently not. I have built my character so weird. I don't want... To... <laughs> And know the face of James that is basically mm. just stating that's two successes. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> well, yeah. sorry to say, James, that's a nat one and, a, and an eight, so that's three passes. Awesome. Yes. Yay. Well done. Yes. Nice. <laughs> well, in that case, Edlin, we will we will start with you. You stand within running distance of um, Alistair. You see him looming over the form of this um, young man who is just kind of arms spread on the floor, hands wide. Just, you can see abject fear on their features as they yeah. stare up with a wild expression in front of them. I, I'm sorry, I, I, I didn't take anything. I'm really sorry. People in the streets around, you can hear it's just a bounce of surprise, a carriage nearby kind of pulling to a halt as the various, the, the obviously quite violent display of the two of you sprinting down the street after the youth um, has drawn significant attention. Adeline. First question is, to where, to the way I was running, am I like head on from where they are or am I kind of on the side? So like, you know what I mean? I can't explain properly because I, I can't speak well today. You're directly facing them. Thank you. Okay, so, oh God, okay. Is the kid in front of me, or is it James in front of me? Oh, not James, Alistair, who's... Uh, the child is closer to you than Alistair is. Okay, so I think what I'm going to try to do then is full-on sprint towards, and if I have time this this round, is to maybe try to, like, basically seem like I'm going to, like, rugby tap with the kid, but just actually just try to pick him up and pull him away from Alistair, and then try to get... Well, so like I'm kind of in between, if that makes sense. If not, then I'm just going to run and then do that next session, next round. It depends on how long it takes. As he's to get kind there. of looming over the child. Yeah. Yeah, I drop kick his ass. Drop kick his ass. I could do. I mean, I've got a sword. I could always just like put the sword <laughs> against his head. head. Yeah, but you're you're not allowed. Weapons. That's true. Mm. I don't know. I don't know. I don't have my no, sword. No, you don't. Anywhere. No, don't, that's not no. the carriage. That's me forgetting stuff then because brain's done. Uh, I guess in that was... case, I could... Just pin him to the floor. Mm. So if, yeah, just leave him over the kid, then... Um... Tackle him! Tackle. Yeah, just see if I can tackle Alistair. Okay. Well, you take off, sprinting directly towards him, using your minor action to just move at him. Uh, I then just need you to make, we're going to say, a brawn athletics check, which is going to be contested. Sake, I always lose these. Alistair. Yeah, please. Well. Shine. Mm. Ollie. <laughs> not not James. James, I love you, man, but please. No. I'm trying I'm trying not to. I'm trying please. not to. If you could Come fail, on. that'd be lovely, James. Uh, that's, oh, once again, two passes from me, but no. I only got one pass. I failed. Yes. <laughs> 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 You sleep at them both, immediately throwing yourself over the child, wrapping your arms around Alistair and crashing into the floor on the other side. Um, <clears throat> and not, I assume you're not trying to hurt him, just get him off. Get... I'm not trying to pause, hurt him. Pause. <laughs> <laughs> unless, unless he starts going crazy on me, and then uh, I can't take I can't take responsibility for Edmund's actions after she's been attacked. That's we'll get to that bridge if and when we have to cross it. But for, for now, it's literally just trying to get the kid away. Oh, get him away from the kid. Okay, easily done. Uh, you impact into the floor on the other side and just roll for a couple of feet, um, ending with. 
you're still kind of on top as you kind of come to this the end of this roll scattering across the road um you have a couple of people uh, nearby just jump out of the way at the last moment very nearly barreling into uh, an older man in the street uh, immediately you hear the sound of the child just kind of pulling themselves up and turning to sprint away as we come to alistair uh okay so uh alistair is obviously in the scuffle and in the moment um random fly uh he is going to look up um at edlin look her in the eyes with eyes that are slightly shot with black threads almost coming out of the um the drunken stupor not quite but it's sort of melded into something else now it's it's it, it, almost a sadness and you can see his eyes sort of fogging up as he's gonna slightly relax a little bit but then look edlin in the eye and say it, it's not about the sugar i i just need the sweetness and then grab her by the side of the head and try and bite her throat directly into her jugular as far hard as he possibly can yeah, fair. Uh, can I get an agility fighting check from you both, please? Um, so I'll tell you what, actually, before that, Alistair, can I ask you to make a will persuasion check? Uh, contested by Holly. <laughs> oh, correction, uh, Edelyn, can you make me a, say, insight persuasion? I, I, I'm going to ask. I'm going to know the Bye. answers. Well, I was going to say, I'm going to know the answers no, but okay, could I use my thing in deception? That's not going to work, is it? I can't use my focus in deception. I'll, I'll let you use your focus in deception. Fuck yeah, thank you. All right, uh, insight persuasion, yeah? <laughs> yeah. That's two passes, no crits, but two passes. I've got two fails, which is awesome. I'm here for it. <laughs> <laughs> it's fine, it's, a re it's, it's just the reverse of what happened last week. It's needed. He muttered, um, Alistair, you, you give the words you say, um, you've stated, and then immediately go for the bite. Thankfully, Edeline, uh, you kind of notice the intent before the attack. It's being fairly unusual. It's not something you see most sane people do. If you'd failed, this wouldn't have been a contested role. Now, now it is. We say agility fighting. For agility this, fighting. Like Come on, Edlin, you're good at this. You're built for this. This is your thing. And we know what I've been like with my, me being built for things I'm supposed to be good at. Okay. I'm going to leave it there. Way to be a downer. Agility fighting. Wait, Who's wait, hold on. Holly? 10, 11, 12, fucking 12 and 13 are both in my fucking tube. That's two passes again, I swear down. Nice. The, these are the same dice I was using I... when I kept getting complications, so I'm happy they're doing well today. Free. Okay. Dice are gonna dice. <laughs> you see the intent on his face. Go to move and don't quite move fast enough. Fuck. Alistair's <laughs> teeth just immediately flash and latch around your throat. You can feel uh, the canines immediately starting to dig into your throat. Um, let's get you to roll three dice worth of damage uh, there, Alistair. And we're gonna give you vicious. What does that do again? Uh, every the... Cthulhu face is two damage instead of one. Right. No Cthulhu's no. Okay. All right. Okay. I'm. I'm just gonna. I'm just gonna show you this. Mm -hmm. So you probably can see that That's one. That's one. Yeah. yeah. Can you can you see this one? Oh god. Okay. Oh, and then no, you see. Didn't. Can you see that oh, one? As well? Oh. 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 <laughs> Think of it as XP. Think of it as XP. Yeah, XP. Even... <laughs> yeah. I'm what really a... glad I got that void point. <laughs> I mean, me too. <laughs> Can you <laughs> knock him out, please? For the love That's of God. Fucking so... <laughs> <laughs> oh, hell. Five minutes in, man. Jeez, come on. <laughs> Not even that. You take six points of damage, uh, of stress there, Evelyn, um, prior to any armor you may be wearing. Um, although... so that is, does that mean avoid the armor then? Or is that with armor? 
I mean, I'm arguing with myself if a bites the throat should fit. Just I mean, I'm on your side. Completely. I'm on your side. If it's on the armor, if it's on the neck, then it would be void yeah. any armor. I I, I, I think <laughs> I'm happy. I'm not happy with that, but I'll. I'm I, gonna... <laughs> if that's what we're gonna do, I won't fight it because I'm it, it make... makes sense. I'm, I'm going to make the judgment ruling here that, unfortunately, without having uh, a gorget or anything along yeah. those lines, unfortunately, no, your throat sense. is completely vulnerable and you will just take the six damage, um, which will be enough to inflict an injury. Oh, I know. Oh. I know. And that's already... Oh, my God. That's fine. I have a void point. I can use that whenever I want. Why don't you use it? If you, I, okay, this, yeah. this is not what I thought was going to happen this week, but okay. <laughs> Ignore, I'm rolling with the rolls. Let's do this. What are you giving me? Uh, you you feel the points of Alistair's teeth immediately just plunge into your throat, piercing through the skin and immediately rupturing a vein underneath. Fortunately, not your jugular, but enough of uh, enough damage to cause significant bleeding. Uh, bleeding being your injury uh, from this one. Uh, you will continue to take two points of stress at the beginning of every scene until that is healed. Alright. <laughs> Alistair, you dick! Right! Oh, I'm supposed to have I mean, a five the, of the kids That's right, just get back to throat. me in the bar, it's fine, I'll patch you up. <laughs> now the lesson here is uh, Twilight's yes. taught everyone wrong and having someone bite your neck is not at all what you want to happen in your life. Yeah, <laughs> you're, you're, not a good show. What do you bleed? It, what, it's... what does she... Oh yeah, is it silver yes, or... Yes, what am um, I... What? Or oh, Alistair. Oh, oh <laughs> fuck. You expect, <laughs> as you bite down, for this <clears throat> imminent moment of bliss, Mm. to just rush through your body as you just feel the warm crimson run down your throat. Mm. Instead, you taste nothing but metal. Mm -hmm. Your teeth immediately... You win some, you lose some. Roll me a d20, please. Yeah. Just roll the yeah. d20 and tell me the result. Well, it's 18. 18. 18. Sorry, did you hear that? Yeah. It immediately starts to harden your throat to the point where it starts to actually cause a blockage to build up. Cool. The blood you're expecting to bring some form of relief, bliss, instead begins to choke the very air from your lungs. Yo, this shit hit different. You... Uh Go to yeah. fall back, literally just trying to detach yourself um, and find you can't move your teeth. The blood has already hardened in place and locked you there. Excellent. Wait. I feel so like just... this is a, I feel like this is like a, a, a public service announcement against uh, not being a vampire or drinking blood because this is what could happen. Don't do drugs, kids. Don't drink blood, it'll stop you breathing. Don't do anything, kids, it's bad for you. <laughs> I came out wrong. So we've got... <clears throat> I kind of want that to you now. <laughs> Alistair's glued to Eddie by yeah. his teeth on her throat in the middle of a street, and he's yeah. beginning to choke to death. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and I'm still hey. bleeding out, aren't I? And you're so bleeding just... out, yeah. <laughs> Get... God, you guys just... It's fine, I saved the kid. Take it inside. I That's what I get about. I mean, you have iron in your diet, but, like, <laughs> you usually just eat, like, veg. Yeah. Like I said, okay, I'm from Weez. I have a completely fish. different, like, diet to all of you guys. I'm sorry that my blood's a bit more iron-based than yours. Jeez, it's, it's a condition, okay? I was born with it. They chew on ball bearings. <laughs> Entirely <laughs> As a scream breaks out in the crowd around you, people having seen this obvious act in front of them, unable to really see anything more than what immediately appears to be of a man tearing through the throat of a poor young woman who's tried to save a child. Um, nearby, over by the carriage, Sam, Jack and Sybil, you hear a scream 
emanate up and echo through the streets. Uh, <sighs> at the near distance off to your left, the same way that both uh, um, uh, Alistair and Eveline charged off moments before. So in a scale of one to ten, how fucked? <laughs> it's an open-ended question there, Jane. Okay? <laughs> <laughs> you also didn't say if one was good or bad, like, you've got to be more specific. You're gonna say fucked? Yeah. So, I would have to ask... I'm still as drunk as last time. But I, I imagine the scream would sober me up a little. Yeah, a little bit of a Is that this how you, you feel? Make me a brawn resilience check too. Oh. Ooh, okay. Uh, that's one success. Unfortunately, you're still very much feeling the effects of your drink from earlier. Uh, you hear the scream, it definitely cuts through uh, the haze, but not enough to really kind of focus you in any great degree. You, you twist to view it and just stumble backwards as you do so. Brilliant. Okay. Okay. Uh, Sybil? Hmm? Do you want to follow me? <clears throat> no, that's a bad idea. We're probably going to... Come with me and uh, follow me. Okay. We're going to go find what happened to Eddie. Okay. Ooh, go and see Eddie. Okay. Yeah. yeah where's Eddie? Fucking move your ass. Okay. I'll just follow along. I'll just. Uh, uh, uh. This is how you feel, isn't it? When you're sober and we go into a place and then shit goes mad in two seconds flat. Uh, I feel like we've that been in. Constantly. We got. We we got in twenty minutes ago. Jack, I am in a constant state of dread since starting this journey. I haven't slept once. Not really. You know, it's been a, it's been a long, long road. Where's Adelaide? We're going to go find out where Adelaide is. <laughs> Hopefully that's a completely unrelated scream, which it's not going to be, knowing our track record. It's never I love, related, Jack. I love the really hope bad. you have in me. It's always related. It, exactly. Yeah. It's always related. I figured that out weeks ago. I'm surprised you're only just cutting on. You just follow the screams with this group. Honestly, it's the most efficient way of finding everyone. Yeah. Just think, ah, where's Eddie? Ah! And then you just go in that direction, you know? That's fine. It's gotta I'm be gonna fine. Need a a uh, brawn athletics check from both of you, please. Uh, it's just difficulty one. Um, you do have a higher complication range. By which I mean specifically, Sybil has a higher con uh, complication range of 16. Um, although, I'll tell you what, for wonderfully and almost accidentally describing my DM notes uh, for the last since I started this <laughs> game of living in constant dread and not sleeping, we'll raise it to a 17. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> life imitates art, uh, imitates life, whatever, whatever, right? Oh. <laughs> that was so fucking close to being a complication. One success. I got a crit so close. 15. So that's three successes. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Not sure what I'm doing, but man, I'm doing it you're well. You're doing it well. <laughs> yeah, you do it. You hate some this shit. <laughs> oh boy. Maybe I didn't want to do it well. It does. It's frozen. I just oh, we're hey, having it's oh oh no, it's frozen. Yay! Oh, no. We're free. Back and we're free. Oh, he's back. Oh, he's back. Oh. He's back. Oh. 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 Oh, sorry. He's. <laughs> <laughs> Did you get our rolls? Oh. Oh. He's frozen again. Oh, yeah, he's oh. Oh, um, he's hello. back. <laughs> oh. This oh, is a very... Hello. We are hey, currently... Hi. Oh, yeah. I apologise. Echo, shut up! Um, fucking hell. Oh, loudy, loudy. 
Oh. Oh, dear. Oh. Oh. We're, we're all here, right? I'm here. I'm, I'm here. Yeah. I'm here. Right, I think Danny's just throwing us on break. Okay. Oh. Okay. Oh. Huh. Is it working? Don't move to Devon, the Wi Fi shit. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. yeah. No, yeah. He's got it. Common knowledge, yeah. but it's nice to hear you again. Oh, yeah. 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 Right, uh, we will go to uh, a quick break now, um, just so we can make sure everything is stable on my end. I do apologize. Uh, I don't want to try and run through the next few minutes and risk this happening again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, Lord. So we'll see you shortly. We won't be too long. Do apologize. All. Bye. Bye.
Jesus Christ, just hold it up. No, no. You're so well. 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 I wish we planned that. Oh, that would be oh. Clip that. Clip that shit. Somebody so clip that. So I love good. how it just comes up wish dominatrix of that. dot 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 on stream. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> oh dear. Oh, it, it was short lived. So, well, party. When we were yeah. last in this game, Ben thought he was running a game for six friends um, mm. who were all going to play Chavis Twilight Roads. However, mm -hmm. he has in fact been planning out his own demise. So if we'd like to go from there, um, <laughs> let's uh, let's kick off. <laughs> <laughs> Just completely meta it. Plan one's demise. Ask well, ben, there are various while, steps. <laughs> Have we been living oh, through said steps? Oh boy, oh we boy. We have, we have. So, what we, what we're all taking part in actually, if, have you all seen Inside Out? Or <laughs> no, yeah. the present? We're all actually facets of uh, Ben's crazed imagining. I see. Oh, I don't actually sense. exist. Yeah. I'm, 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 I fucking I'm, hope not. <laughs> 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 oh boy, oh boy. Well, I think right. we're back. Let's find out. I will apologize preemptively. Um, if the technical issues on my end continue, I will probably have to sadly close off the session early, uh, purely because I don't want your your uh, game to be impacted, and I obviously don't want to give our lovely viewers anything akin to, here, watch me slowly jerk from side to side for the next two hours. And That's what you normally, shoot. surely. Yeah, that's that's mean. <laughs> but we're not bringing my epilepsy into this, Lynn. <laughs> well, I actually laughed at that. It says a lot. Yeah, you are awful people. Um, <laughs> where were we? Uh, for, for, for all of that, again, I do apologise. Uh, that was it. I asked yeah. people to roll some checks. Yeah, I still remember yeah. my results. Wonderful. Okay, well, if I may ask then, how did we do? First and foremost, Jack. One success. Good. And <laughs> yeah. that is three successes. Impressive. I know. Oh, wow. Give me Fair. your dice. Drunken luck. Drunken luck. The two of you spend um, the next few moments sprinting down that alley, bringing yourselves around, taking yourselves over the debris that has just been left in the wake of both Edlin and Alistair. Um, lit, come just to the point where you're able to see the streets in front of you, hear another shout, and you can see kind of the crowds moving past the opening of the alleyway uh, towards the street and whatever is happening that appears just to be off to the right somewhere. You go to twist around the corner. Meanwhile, back in the bar. <laughs> oh, bollocks. <laughs> we find Jules and Cecily, kind of both just sat at the bar. Uh, you've had Frank pass by a number of times, just checking in on you. Um, but at the moment, you have Russell or Ginger Beer tending to the bar, working off his hangover from earlier. Um, kind of the, his boisterous nature slowly reinvigorating uh, within him as he just makes his way up and down to meet, visiting the various patrons, including the small group that has made their way into the uh, onto the bar next to the two of you. A fairly kind of... The easiest way to describe him is war, uh, war scarred. The first and closest of the three is a man, probably middle-aged, you would assume. Fairly kind of chalky blonde hair, tied back, and reaching just down to the nape of his neck. Uh, this heavy camouflage cloak, just fairly kind of loosely tied off now, um, hanging over his shoulders, and leather armour with various marks across it indicating extreme use. He's unarmed, as are his uh, kind of two compatriots that lean on the bar a little bit further down. One significantly young enough that you would question kind of if they'd ever 
seen drink or f combat before just looking at the age of them but the scars just lining the side of their face and the again very kind of tactical look they bear every single portion of their clothing oh, seems designed no, for back, use back. none of it is there for decoration I don't. I assume I disappeared for a second there. We had a just, just we had a just one for a second. second. Be just a good. Second. It's all right. right. You're you're back. Going. You're back. Good job. Yeah. We got good. you. As I say, nothing about the dress of either of the three men uh, beside you is there to demonstrate uh, wealth or fashion. It is all practical. As with everyone else in the bar, none of them are bearing weapons. Um, Jules, you know full well that the standard rule for anyone who comes into the All Lantern is that they leave their weapons at the door. Um, you know that down on the waterway in, there is a single man who will be kind of checking people over, removing arms from them. Um, and up on the way in, of course, Frank is more than slightly um, trained at picking a weapon out at about 30 paces. Whoever they are, though, they're not really paying any major attention to you. Um, the youngest kind of glances over and gives uh, you both a, a, a slight smile um, before the older just clicks his fingers at him. Not here. Oh, okay. A bloke is back. But again, I am quite drunk. So. I'm just going to just very awkwardly just <laughs> step back and just look into my drink. Um, yes, pretend they're not there. Easily done. Uh, the two, you kind of just focus on your drink, uh, Cecily, and Jules, you kind of... Uh... Another one! Please! Thanks, hon! Uh, Ginger just kind of makes his way down and goes, I think you may be on enough there, love. Come on. <gasps> <laughs> Yeah. Jules, you all right there? Please. Make a will persuasion check. <laughs> you can't say no to Jules. Was it will persuasion? Will persuasion difficulty one. Well, I've got I got one, so eight and eighteen. So yeah, that's one pass. Cool. You, you flutter your eyelashes at uh, Ginger, who just kind of looks at you. And you just see his face twisting. And... Last one. Ah, uh, you're my hun. Reaches under the counter, pulls out a bottle. And I take the bottle. I take the bottle off his hand. <laughs> I was just going to say, and I pour it myself. <laughs> I was just going to say, that's the, the fifth table. time. That's the fifth time Ginger Beer has said last one to Jules in the past ten minutes. So <laughs> <laughs> he's very persuasive. Very persuasive. <laughs> You just kind of take the bottle from him. You get the impression that if he didn't want you to have it, you wouldn't have it. Yeah. <laughs> sure, for sure. Go and just <sighs> turns from you, wanders down uh, the bar a little bit and just kind of leans down and starts talking to uh, the man who sat next to you, actively lowering his voice as he does so. Uh, wait, I'm gonna roll to see if I notice. Can I? Can I notice yeah, that I notice that? If yeah, that of course sense. you can. Uh, we'll call that um, insight observation. Difficulty two. Insight observation. Am I allowed to also try? Because I'm assuming if I'm sat next to Jules. Well, that is an actual one. As and I'm, then, and then a nineteen. Nice. As I'm not drunk, do I have a difficulty on it? Uh, Just to notice that you've done it. Because they're at, you can notice that he's done it. Mm -hmm. um, this is more to hear what he's saying. Oh, okay. And again, There's insight observation, too. yeah? Yeah. Um, I will say, as you have had a bit to drink, you are going to get a small complication there, yeah. uh, Jules, for your 19. But, but that's, only, that's only to notice that I've noticed that he's lowered his voice, not to actually hear. Because oh, okay. I, I, if I had All not, right. I wouldn't have had any idea that he'd be chatting to someone else. Fair enough. In which case, I will double myself back a little bit. I do yeah. apologize there. Yeah. Um, yeah, you you notice immediately, Lynn, you, Cicely, you don't even have to roll for this. It, okay. It's fairly obviously noticeable. Um, he just kind of moves past you after surrendering the bottle, um, leans down on the counter and just kind of starts um, 
not so much whispering, but talking in a hushed enough tone that the sounds of the bar, the music, the shouting, uh, the laughter just drown out the words. But you see both him and the stranger exchanging more than a couple of phrases. Mm -hmm. I, I nudged Cicely. Hey, Herm! I, what, what, what? How, how nosy are you feeling? I, I, I reckon I could be quite nosy. Yes. Yeah. Do you want to do some searching? Yeah. I can do some searching. Yeah. Find some good stuff. We, we're we looking for some people. One, I think he... Uh, 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 something about Ringer mm -hmm. and the Black Pearl Boys. I feel like there's something there. Okay. I feel like I was told that it had something to do with papers. Mm-hmm. Yep. So that's all I, I got. That's, that's all I got, hun. That's fine. Uh, I will. I, I can make inquiries and and ask for Ringer. And honestly, they're 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 keeping it down. I kind of want to know. Well, that's okay. I, I'll I give it a try. Know. So I think what I will do is sort of sidle up a little bit closer to Ginger Beer under the pretense that I'm going to ask him who Ringer is to get papers and then try and eavesdrop on their conversation a little bit. You pick yourself up and go to kind of wander over. Um, as the, the complication that's getting introduced uh, from that 19 from uh, Jules is her fairly kind of, Belling. she believes, was quite subtly pointing at them. She <laughs> basically poked one of them in the face. Sorry, <laughs> Don. It's okay. Um, so well, as you pick rugged. yourself up, Ginger just kind of, the Ginger and the Stranger just look at you both. Ginger, why don't you take her uh, for a walk there, Cicely? Get some I, air in her lungs. Uh, y y yes. Okay. Come, come on, Jules. Let's let's try and sidle out a little. Maybe we need to have a little quieter rethink about this plan. Did I do it wrong? I think you're a little. Wrong. You're just a little loud. I'm a little loud. I'm a little loud. Just, just a little. You kind of poked that guy in the face. I did. I was. You know what? Mum's the word. I won't say a word, hun. Okay. I won't say a word. Cool. As you kind of, you say, you just poke them in the face, um, the man stands up, um, just puts his hand up. No, no, no harm, no foul. It's okay. Oh, thanks, hun. Um, I, I okay. kiss him on the cheek. <laughs> 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 you kind of, you go just past a bit of scar tissue um, as you kind of pull back. It's, That could have been anything. That could have been anything. <laughs> yeah, it been anything. <laughs> just offers you a hand. Sorry, could you repeat that? You can't. Yes, yeah, of course I can. Uh, he just offers you a hand in thanks. Um, just kind of take a little bit of a slightly surprised look, not so much shock. Just, oh, um, Kurt, pleasure. Oh, <laughs> thank you. Uh, he does just I'm, kind of... I I'm Jules. Pleased to meet you. Oh, where's my manners? Where's my manners? This is Sicily. Hi. <laughs> Pleasure. Oh. I'm as uh, Kurt. This is Eli and Maximilian. Cool. Hello. Maximilian. What a lovely name. name. <laughs> Great name, right? Um, <laughs> the younger of the two. The, the younger of the two just raises their glass uh, in your direction. Uh, the same one who smiled at you earlier. And the older kind of just grimly nods uh, and turns back to their uh, back to their drink. Um, you kind of just get a quick look. You see three separate glasses have just been emptied uh, in front of them at this point. Uh, yeah, how aggressively are they drinking, or are they are they do they look like they're there for drinking, or do they look like they're there to meet people and chat to people? Uh, do me a reason observation check. Nine. Difficulty one, complication range of 18 for Jules, yeah. of nothing, uh, just the normal 20 for Sicily. You yeah. can both make the check. That's, That's two cool. passes for me. What did you say it was? Something? A uh, reason observation. Thank you. Two successes as well. Wonderful. Uh, both generate a point of momentum. <laughs> um, the amount of drink that you can see being consumed, it seems um, the, the, the one who's introduced himself as Kurt um, has barely made his way through uh, a couple of fingers of whiskey. Um, 
the second, Eli, has drained four glasses, or at least three, and is working through his fourth. Um, and Maximilian, um, you look as he kind of takes a sip and makes the face of someone who claims they really like whiskey oh. but can't actually hold it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, <he's> kind of... <laughs> It just puts it back down. It's just smooth. <laughs> okay. Um, so you get the impression that then Eli is definitely here to drink. The other two mm -hmm. less so. Okay. So, I might just um, be really... As you kind of get a glance. Go on. I was just going to say, I might just be really blatant and sort of just, like, ask the two younger ones, like, so, what brings you gentlemen to Southert? And mm -hmm. see if I can just get, you know, just be blatant and ask for information, just pretend that I'm trying to make a conversation with them. Cause I will help as much as I can as being the wingman. <laughs> I can't tell if Ben is looking at me like that, or he's yeah. just frozen. I think he's just very disappointed <laughs> no, in all of us. No, but he's back. He's back again. Oh. No, is he back frozen. again? Oh. Very, yes, no, no, no. Oh. yes, 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 yes. 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Um, I, I got as far as the young ones. Oh. Um, that was a TV show starring uh, Nigel Planer and anyhow um, <laughs> the... <laughs> yeah. um, I was saying that I was just sort of going because I'm in a bar like um, just making conversation just asking them you know what brings you to salsa and then uh, Jewel said she was going to be a wingman fair cool um, so you just kind of as Jules is talking with Kurt you just sidle past um, make your way just over to uh, the two youths um, Go for it. How do you want to talk to them? Um, the younger of the two just immediately twists you. Oh, hi, I'm, I'm Max. Hi, it's nice to meet you. Um, yeah. Uh, and you, um, char Charmed. That's all right. Me, me and my friend are just here for a night out, you know, just sort of seeing the sights, finding a good place to drink. Um, what are you, what, what brings you guys here? Oh, um, he kind of glances down at Eli. Um, he just kind of... <clears throat> just drains the next cut uh, his next mm -hmm. glass uh, we're um uh, we've just come down from up north uh had a <sighs> just... uh, it's been a rough rough week or two mm. yeah i heard there was some really terrible stuff that happened up there but uh, yeah at least you guys are okay it seems pretty you know chill here so I mean, yeah, it, it's an improvement. We we we've lost we lost some friends not too long ago. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. Oh, but you know we're you know in good company, good atmosphere here. So yeah, yeah. Now you'll get get some time to relax and <laughs> yeah. Oh, we can we can only hope. I mean, if if you're looking to see the city, I was I was born here. Um, I I can show you around. I can show yeah, you both around. Cool. I'm sure I can show you. Well, it's like you may not have seen, uh, as in like parts of town that you may not have seen. I, um, uh, this is coming across really badly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Do you want another drink? <laughs> um, he kind of glances over his shoulder at the the not finished uh, drink. You know, I'm I'm good. I think I've had enough. Oh, okay, that's fine. So. Um, uh, and you just see Eli's hand move over, take his glass, just drag <laughs> it across the bar towards him. Um, <laughs> meanwhile, Kurt um, turns to yourself, Jules. So you're Jules. Right, you are. Right, you are. What have you heard about me, hun? Oh, Ginger and I go way back. We we served in Karnaka together. No way, you know the big oaf. Oh, he's he's such a sweetheart, isn't he? <laughs> yeah, he's he's certainly something. He's a big guy. Really, yeah. really <laughs> pulled my ass out of the mud more than once or twice. See, so, see, so you're a soldier, a, a, a man of I, I don't know. What, what do you do, hun? <laughs> uh, I, I was a soldier. Um, yeah, the world doesn't look too kindly on veterans these days. When we got back, I, uh, I didn't have much waiting for me. Um, no job, no home. No, my wife couldn't be got to wait. So I, you know, took to the roads. Took, um, it, it just, just 
jams a farm over his shoulder at uh, Eli and Max. Took those who were also kind of lost um, with me. Well, they, Hunt, you're doing the you're doing the, the work that that needs to be done. You know, like they, these young kids, they 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 need someone to look up to, and right now, that's you, and you're doing a good job. I see. I have I have that kind of thing about me. I can just tell. You seem <laughs> like a nice person. Well, you know, let, let's don't go that far, hey. <laughs> oh, you. He, he kind of <laughs> he takes him. So, um, how long are you going to be in town for? Only for a few days. Only for a few days. Uh, I've got some work um around here. Just, just you know, I'm. I'm also bartender that's actually that's that's probably how i really got to know ginger beer and of course frank um i i go, I go back a long time with them um but yeah I'm, I'm 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 here to help honestly i've got i got work to help some people um so if if i ever need help myself will i be able to call upon you for like i don't know travel or, or, or something like that Jules, you can call on me for anything you need. Oh, stop. <laughs> stop. <laughs> you. Here. He, he just kind of reaches over to the bottle you kind of borrowed from uh, beer, uh, Ginger and pours you another drink and him. Now that cool. I know that he's going to do that, yeah, I'm not going to drink from now on. Okay. Every time you see me pretend like to take a drink, yeah. I'm pretending to take a drink. Absolutely fine. I'm trying to make him as drunk as he can, thinking that I'm more drunk. So Fair. yeah. Yeah. He just, as I say, he hands you a glass, holds one himself. To the road. To the road, hun. And the two of you, he <laughs> downs his and you just quietly kind of raise yours back down, easily avoiding his notice. And from the lovely warm interior of the bar, we travel right back across South Hurt um, to a different type of liquid passing down someone's throat. Dickity. <laughs> you had to phrase it like that, really? Yes. Yes. Um, <laughs> he had to phrase it like that. <laughs> I have been darting in and out of this call all evening. I've got to do <laughs> um... <laughs> We find ourselves once more um, stood in the street of um, South Hurt. Both Alistair and Edline wrapped in this horrifying image um, of Alistair's uh, wrapped around her throat. This thick, slowly increasing mass of iron building up around her neck and build it, forcing itself further and further into Alistair's airways. At the end of the street, both um, Jack and Sybil twist out, glancing up and just seeing this crowd rapidly building around um, something about halfway down the street. You can hear shouts and cries, um, a single man kind of yelling out, Get him off her! Quickly! Help! And the shouts continue to build up. Um, a little bit further down the road, you can hear a whistle going off. I am just going to ask everyone to roll me a d20. Everyone? By everyone, I mean everyone who's that... there. Okay. <laughs> uh, just those who are here. Too bad. Okay. Eleven. 14. 11 for Jack. 10 for me. Yeah. Edlin? No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, <laughs> that bad. The, the curse that I had the other day with the bad rolls is back. 17. Oh, oh I thought you were going to say 20. No, yeah. not that bad. <laughs> the 17, 17 when you've got your, 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 your throat kind of punctured is bad. It's not great. Yeah. It's not bad. And especially if he's gonna go before Dibble. me. That's a uh, that's a fourteen. 
Sorry, I do apologize once more. That's a 14. 14, wonderful. Uh, so in that case, we'll be leading, I believe, with the 10. <laughs> yeah. We swap dice. Holly, you and I will just swap dice. I'll just roll yeah. dice for you. I, you just roll uh, yeah. dice for me. Yeah, we'll just that do it that sounds way. good. Yeah. Okay. That's, that idea. that's what happened. Yeah. 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 Your action. <laughs> so, uh, did you want the 10 first, which is. That's me, right? Yeah. Oh, sorry, yes, I do apologize. Yeah, that would be Alistair. Um, oh, God. Uh, yeah, so he is. Oh, God. I wish this had actually been blood. Um, <laughs> he is going to try and drink the metal that's going down his throat while grabbing the side of the head pulling sideways and sinking his teeth deeper into the neck aiming for the jugular if at all possible okay uh in which what? case we, we're gonna call this uh, again a br an opposed brawn athletics check um between the two of you um we are gonna start this normally whereas it would be kind of difficulty zit one each just to make sure you Good success. Um, for yourself, Alistair, you're going to need at least two successes more than cool. headline uh, at this point. <laughs> what was the oh, role, sorry? Uh, Brawn Athletics. Brawn Athletics. How do we do? I got two. I got oh, two. Cool. Excellent. Good. <laughs> That's what we want. He tied. <laughs> um, you, you try to move your grip uh, to sink your teeth in deeper, and you find everything just kind of stuck in place at this point. Your teeth are just locked. You can feel the iron literally um, hardening against the roof of your mouth and solidifying to the point where you can barely actually move your jaw much less at this point your neck as you have this long kind of as if someone had poured boiling iron down your throat and cooled it rapidly so what i'm hearing is now we're gonna have to find a way to work together for the rest of the uh, campaign mm. yeah this, this just great. got super interesting <laughs> so these twins here we go. Really... should i, I know, be taking great. some stress for this ben because uh, you will be taking technology. some mental stress for this um rather than physical at the moment your airways are still clear uh, to the point where you can breathe through your nose. However, panic begins to set in. Um, I say uh, that's free mental stress, please. Cool. No problems. Um, as you just start to hyperventilate, unable to uh, kind of pull yourself off, whereas you would have kind of gripped your head to twist and bite more deeply, now you're simply just trying to force her off of you. This is not what I thought would happen this session at all. <laughs> Next, which I believe was Jack. Yeah, uh, eleven. Um, you can still hear these shouts coming up, uh, intensifying the whistling uh, at the base of the street. If anything is starting to draw closer, I'm gonna try and push my way through the crowd to get to this horrific sight. Mm -hmm. Easy done. You just charge forward and start just pushing people out of your way. Um, no one is actively trying to stop you from getting past them, so it's relatively easy, um, but it does cost you a little bit more time uh, than you would like. As you push the last two out of the way, uh, very quickly and clearly you can see Edline hunched over, trying to pin um, what you see as Alistair to the ground, and wrapped around her throat uh, with this thick, oozing silver and iron rapidly rushing across his features, across his nose, starting to build up across his nose and down his throat further. You can just see Alistair, hands wrapped around her head, trying to force her off, his eyes wildly snapping from side to side, flecked with black veins. Uh, yeah, I'm just gonna uh, grab onto the back of Edelin's shirt, <laughs> Alistair's forehead, and just push, and just try and pull them apart okay i'm gonna need you to make me a brawn athletics check with a difficulty of four okay um please don't yo, want a complication because i'm scared that's, 
that's five momentum. <laughs> so I'm gonna borrow some of that. <laughs> plan. I'm gonna I'm take. I'm gonna buy two <laughs> dice. So we still got two momentum left. So that's some people can use stuff. Mm -hmm. Can Eddie yeah. assist? So you need a can pass she's... on each can one. I, yeah, can I assist? Yeah. Uh, it can you will assist? Do your action this turn. Oh. Time, yeah, I... Do you want to try and No, me? because yeah. if you free me, I'm punching the shit out of Alistair. I told him, as I said, <laughs> if, he, if he hurts me, I'm going to fucking beat him. So let's, let's go. Hey. So the good news is there's no complications. Okay. The bad news is it's not enough success. It's only three. That's fine. I was scared that if you're on a convocation, Ben would say, and you've ripped half her neck off in the process. <laughs> I was very worried about that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It was the only one way that was going, and that was the way. I like how you acquired a complication. Um, you tried to put some effort into separating the two of them, um, but the iron is literally that. Uh, it seems like it is kind of anchored into her neck. And at this point, of course, wrapping itself around um, Alistair's head, and they just physically cannot be separated with the strength you have in your arm. Um, as you kind of look down, you can see thick bouts of silver blood pumping from her neck. And the moment it kind of settles, it immediately begins to harden. Yay, okay, right. Next. Which I believe was Sybil. Was Sybil? Yeah. Uh, Sybil. Fourteen. Yeah. Uh. Well. <laughs> yeah, I don't think Sybil's going to be hugely helpful, unfortunately. Um. <clears throat> most likely, Jack's run off um, into a crowd of people. Uh, and is lost to me because uh, I'm not going to go wading through that crowd you know what I mean um, so I think Sybil, yeah, unfortunately Sybil's going to probably be standing on the edge of the crowd uh, as Jack runs off you know, disappears and amongst him he's probably just going to kind of stand there and just call out Jack's name, just uh, Absolutely fair. <laughs> you, you kind of just force your way through the crowd, just shouting at each of them. Um, you can hear them kind of... The rest of you can hear him quite easily. No. Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! Bad! <laughs> Jack! Jack? Did you find them? <laughs> The crowd around you is kind of very much not not in any way mimicking your very, very nonchalant attitude at this point. Uh, you can actively see people now breaking off from the crowd to try and help. Oh, yay. What are you doing? What's that? What are you doing? Huh? <laughs> yeah. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Okay. One moves up, um, a slightly young, older man, um, just comes up straight next to Jack. He goes, right, I'll pull from the other end. And he kind right, of right. wraps his head, uh, arms under uh, Alistair's throat and starts pulling <laughs> in the other direction. Um, and at that point, you've had three or four more people just jump out of the crowd and help try, try, try to help separate. Um, I'm going to ask you to make another Brawn Athletics check uh, there, Jack. Uh, you okay. are going to have a few strangers assisting you. Hey, is it still <laughs> difficulty four, I assume? It is still difficulty four. Okay, I can only buy one dice, shame. And leave momentum for other people, because I'm a generous person like that. I lie. Okay. What, what happened then? <laughs> ben, what happened? Then you, ben, what happened? Oh, no. Ben, please tell us. Oh! Break the silence. How'd you do there, uh, Jack? <laughs> Two crits. Please don't tell me you rolled a complication. Oh, two crits. Nice. I got two crits. Nice. I, I did not roll our complication. You rolled two, I didn't rolled you? Two. Oh. So, what I'm wow. hearing is me and James need to start making new character sheets. 
possibly. Or does that mean it's good for us because it's bad for them? No, that's what I'm hearing. It's bad for the strangers. Yeah, it's bad for the strangers. As soon as as soon as they pull them up, they all forget. Basically, what? Ben's Ben's just <laughs> done the two D twenty version of pulling out an Uno reverse card, while Jago also pulls out an Uno reverse card. Reverse, reverse. <laughs> yeah. Who who pulled the who pulled the reverse well, card first? I, I rolled I rolled three, three dice. Hmm. Same. Got three nineteens. I, I rolled three dice. I got one critical pass and two critical failures. Oh. Hang on. <laughs> Hang on. So that's six. a failure and two critical passes. It would be really funny if he got a critical yeah. failure and two critical passes. It's complete yeah, it would be fun. Yeah, shame. Is he frozen? It, it was know. close. No, it was good. another. It was close. It was very close, but no, no yeah. cigar. What does that mean, Ben? So that means you definitively have enough successes. Um, as Jack, you obviously you roll four by yourself. Um, so you gain two more, which is two momentum in total. Love. However. As the strangers and Jack put the full force of their bodies into just forcing the two of you apart, uh, there is a moment where, Edline, you can feel the skin around the impact site pulling and tearing uh, as the uh, metal is quite literally being ripped clean from your neck. On the other side... Alistair, you can feel the uh, metal that's at this point still cooling itself in place on the insides of your mouth, pulling again in the opposite direction. Oh. <laughs> and this is how you talk, you kill two characters at once. <laughs> Small birds, big stone. Maybe Alistair will be a mute the whole time. I think really everybody would be happy with that. <laughs> <laughs> you, Sam can go. There is a moment of agony for both of you as you get to the point where you can feel the iron tensing between you, pulling uh, on the skin and the internal uh, and the inside of your mouth uh, before it suddenly brutally gives way. Oh. I think I actually felt that in real life. Tearing out between both of you, you suffer, each of you, five points of stress. (sighs) Which will ignore all armor. That's an injury. That is an injury. For Alistair, you are pulled clean free and just dropped to the ground. Immediately, uh, this wedge of iron tearing out of your mouth, uh, taking the inner lining um, of your throat, uh, your mouth, and a couple of teeth with it. Oh, God. So it comes out of my throat and out of my mouth rather than Mm. directly out of my throat. Okay, well, that's a that's a better result than I was hoping was going to happen, frankly. Yep. <clears throat> As I say, it does deal you five points of stress um, and lead you with an injury uh, in, yep. the, in the case, which is, well, as I'm sure you can imagine, missing oh, teeth no, destroyed one. for it. Yeah, it's fine. Yep. <laughs> going to be sick for a few days. Yep. <laughs> you feel this um, one rush of blood welling up in your mouth and just running down your throat. Uh, this sweet taste of copper almost soothing the pain, at least mentally. It's delicious. For Edelin. <laughs> Uh, uh, no, Edlin's not here. Um, I, 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 I just do the cleaning for Edlin. Time out. <laughs> Edlin's calling time out. Time out, guys. Okay, time out now, guys. Time out. Just chill the F down. Right. I understood that. Hey. If, if only it was so easy, hey. Um, the, the iron tears free from your neck and drags lumps of skin, muscle, um, uh, skin and muscle with it. Oh no, Ooh. she's bleeding. Why? Your throat nearly opens in the street. 
as this clump of iron just clangs to the ground in the center of you, of you um, as the two groups pulling in either direction uh, literally just land on the floor, gripping you. Immediately, Evelyn, your hands just snap up to your throat, trying to just kind of close the wound. And as you do, you can already feel that um, your that your blood pumping over the wound. And as you kind of pull back, dragging your hands away, as you realize your breathing is absolutely fine, um, you see the blood rushing, uh, the blood that was kind of left imprinted on your hands immediately hardening um, and turning just into kind of iron in place, trapping your hands in the position they were, and starting to just knit the wound clear. Oh my fucking god! As each of you just kind of pull aside, uh, just pull aside and look at Edline, you see her raising her neck as iron just builds in place over the wound and becomes incredibly obvious. This sheen of metal uh, contrasting against um, the kind of bruised flesh that was there moments before. There is this moment of um, uh, kind of excitement that builds up as the two of you are freed from one another briefly, um, which is replaced with a sudden and damning silence. As those who are kind of holding Edlin up let her go a few kind of take a couple of steps back um alistair your chest still kind of <laughs> having in and out as the first voice just echo just kind of releases the word she's a channeler Fuck. <laughs> 20 minutes in the city not my fault, okay? I was saving a kid, he bit me. It's Alice's fault. I'm not blaming you, it's just why does this keep fucking happening? Ben, um, because we got 5 HP, what injury am I getting? Uh, iron fruit? <laughs> <laughs> iron scarring? Yeah, significant iron scarring. You're now at the point where you can't actually rest your neck in a in a kind of relaxed position. Uh, it's literally okay. being pinned up. <laughs> Have I still got my bleeding injury as well? No, you're, you're, you're still going to suffer the complication from it. Just think of it as that injury has expanded to count as two. Okay. Paradoxically, now you're anemic because you've lost so much iron now. <laughs> yeah. It's funny you say that because I actually think I may actually be anemic. So I just love having characters that I just relate to, honestly. This is great. Right on a deep level. Mm -hmm. I've given myself the iron throat, but I know what I, I just I, I can't spell extensive because yeah. I have a That's small pea brain. I have a small pea brain. So. It's oh, fine, don't worry. Um, as I say, uh, a few people just mutter the word. Can I? I was to say, it's, it's my time. A... Deadline still has an action. It's um, my go, Jago. Yeah. Stop being yeah. heroic. <laughs> right, <laughs> I know, but I have. I like how you heroic. assume it's going to be heroic. I half expected yeah. him to go, I. Double drop, kick yeah. her in the face, <laughs> and then stand up. So I got her. It's fine. I got her. <laughs> Let me have my go first before you kill me, okay? I have. I I've, yet to, I've yet to uh, have a go. These murmurs okay. uh, and whispers of Chandler. You assaulted her. What? what what's going on? And then a, another cry of protectorate. No, the Inquisition. Someone get someone. <laughs> when is when your uh, your action starts, Edline? So Edelin's here. She's then going to just look around, and you know, like when you, you, you know, when you, you you catch a cat doing something they shouldn't, and they look at you and then they run. Yeah, I, I'm deeply yeah. familiar. <laughs> yeah, I knew you would be, which is why I made the, which is why I made the reference. Um, Ed, in this situation, Edelin's the cat. <laughs> <laughs> she's just gonna fucking bolt, man, because she's not. I am on one HP. And I hate that I'm in this situation again. So I'm just going to run. You, you pick yourself up, um, just kind of separating from the people around you. Uh, the ones who helped you just kind of take a couple of steps back. Um, just immediately, the look of uh, on their faces of trying to help turns to fear. Same. Um, and they just kind of <laughs> step back from you and twist towards the crowd to uh, go back the way you came. Uh, they've already separated slightly um, just to let 
Jack and Sybil through, and you can see Sybil just stood in the middle of that crowd, just looking at you, um, as the people around uh, around him just look at one another and seem to just be making their minds up on what they're about to try and do. I can bite as it, you I can bite it. Um, can you make me a coordination or brawn athletics check, please, um, just to try and claw your way through that crowd? And that's with the and that's with if I roll an eighteen or over complications because of my two injuries. Yeah? Yes, it is an opposed check against the crowd. How much momentum do we have? Three. I would like. Can I? I'm gonna. Can I, I'm gonna spend all three if that's okay. I get two, two dice. Mm, that. No, it's absolutely not okay. How well, do you? I thought you said you were being generous. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were doing it anyway. My XP. <laughs> pass, pass, pass. Complication. Oh. So really, they are still fucking with me. That's three passes, but Ben's probably got four and a crit, so yeah. Uh, no, you 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 win completely. We got no successes on our end. Um, the crowd breaks and just lets you through. Uh, gain all of that as momentum back immediately. Um, okay. <laughs> And you just push your way through, people just moving out of your way, uh, direction as rapidly as possible. Um, as you break through the last one um, and you can look down the street proper to see more and more people kind of making their way towards you, some rapidly leaving, um, the attention of anyone on the street immediately kind of grasped by what's going on. Straight into the trust of an Inquisition member. There. Uh, you see at the end of the road, um, gathering and starting to move, make their way down um, a little bit of a pace uh, for uniformed protectorates uh, just jogging down, one with a whistle already in there, kind of stuck between their teeth uh, as they're blowing on it and running, the other two just pulling their batons out and getting ready um, as they kind of clock the cloud, clock you. Can I just wave at them and be like, hi guys? <laughs> Which is, uh, I would, well, I assume, is when you'd kind of dart into the alleyway. Yeah, I would off. just change course and hope that God they don't shoot me because I have PTSD. I don't have PTSD. From, she doesn't have PTSD from guns. I may. Uh, Who knows? Yeah. No, no, one knows. We'll find out. Uh, deadline, you just kind of twist and just start sprinting down the um, uh, the alleyway next to you. Your hands are unable to ball into fists. Your neck still awkwardly positioned um, as the iron there has locked into place and the iron on your hands uh, has made it literally so you cannot move them. If I dance, and then... Dinosaur. If, if, if I dance, then I, don't, then I don't feel the pain. So I'm just going to do a dance. Uh, you just twist and start disappearing down the alleyway. Um which then kind of brings us back to the three of you. Alistair, Jack, and Sybil. The crowd at this point, um, several of them have kind of leaned down to Jack, um, oh, fuck pulling fuck. you away from Alistair. Um, several of them just, are you okay? Um, I'm good. What the fuck was that shit? <laughs> uh, Chandler, and whatever the fuck is wrong with him, um, oh, Fuck me. A couple of people in the crowd have kind of, they're clocking you, Alistair, and very, very much unsure on what's happening. Um, something should, should we help him? It, it, it could be something wrong was with him. He? Maybe he saw the Chandler. Um, was he? Yeah. One way or the other, right. Alistair is acting first. Uh, okay. Well, I mean, he can't, can't really speak very well at this point. <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, and my camera's doing weird things. Give me a second. There we go. Um, hey! You do not get to complain to me about technical issues. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. I'm very slightly fuzzy. That's 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 all that happens in my... Um, because London, Ben. London, L internet. London, London. <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll, I'll send him a, a postcard. He'll, he'll get it. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'll take internet issues over being able to breathe fresh air. <laughs> it's, it's either or, really. What's fresh air? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you know, it's a myth that when people tell you you need fresh air, <laughs> I'm, you know, Alistair is finding that out right now, Max. Mm -hmm. uh, he, he's <laughs> Exhibit A. We'll get back to you with our findings. Yeah. Um, so, sort of coming around a little bit with the taste of blood in his mouth, which is sort of sobering him up and also, I would think, sort of making the black lines recede very slightly a little bit. Um, 
I think we've all we've all seen Lord of the Rings. I think this is very much a moment where he's sort of gonna roll over and through like blood and like shards of teeth dripping out of his mouth do the classic sort of you know um Edlin come back, Edlin, I'm sorry, it's a whole Boromir like desperately clawing towards so he's gonna try and stand up not even see I think the other two and try and follow her try and bolt after her to wherever she's gone okay you, you just pick yourself up um, trying to form words and, and you're just the internal of your mouth just falling apart uh, with every movement um, the, the blood that kind of pools in your mouth and starts leaking out um, can <laughs> this is really what? grim. <laughs> yeah, Jack, can you make me a quick insight observation check of two, please? Hello. I can One indeed. Moment. I may have some technical help. Oh. Oh. Max, this isn't even me describing it full. Like, I don't want to go the whole. whole thing. I want you to, but I, you're gonna you're gonna see my face go. <laughs> Do it. <laughs> Do it. Ninja. Get it. Get it. You really, you really want get the, the whole the whole facial movie of this. I mean, what is that? Insight. Insight observation difficulty two. Insight observation difficulty two. That is. Sadly, just the one. I so <laughs> thought he was going to say that is a complication. <laughs> <laughs> and then I realised you're not rolling my dice, so you no, fine. I'm ro- no, yeah. my dice are playing nice today, unlike last week where they nice didn't nice. want to. Yeah, good. Except for you, you, but... <laughs> you Jack. You kind of clock him just for a moment as he gets up and moves past you. Um, you swear you see something. It's like, it's like just like about his features just throws you for a moment but as you double check everything's fine um Alistair, apart you from the fucked mouth it was something about that um it, as you kind of move past them alistair into the crowd uh, you have much the same thing unlike um edlin no one really tries to fight you um the path has already been opened and you can dart through with relative ease Making your way along, you see her as she just disappears down the edge of a cor- uh, down the edge of one of the alleyways, just vanishing from view. And just in the far distance, you can see again those protectorate making their way down towards the area, uh, trying to kind of establish what's going on as the shouts for guard um, continue just to rise in the air. I assume he's, he's just gonna. I'm follow. I'm just gonna follow her where she's as far as she's she's gone. And just for Max, I'd like a, a moment where he slumps against the wall, desperately tries to get himself up. And as he does, he'll feel a small part of his gum just detach further, dribble out the side of his mouth, and with a globule of blood and spit sink down. You'd like to think it hits the floor, but instead it just splashes off his chest, leaving a thin brown. And red smear as he coughs, almost splutters up, and just spits blood all over the wall, and it, it drips in sickening red smears that he gets his hands in as he pulls himself off and runs off towards where Edlin has gone. How was that, Max? You right? That was awesome. Lovely. That was great. <laughs> that was so good. <laughs> Thank you. going. Oh, God, the when you think he'd stop, he just carried on. <laughs> That's the best it's part. really, it's a good thing I don't sleep anymore. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really sorry. <laughs> on the point of, as you kind of paint this lovely picture on the wall with your internals, um, you just reach out and run your hand for it. Lit that red smear painting across um, beautifully. As you pull your hand away, however, you realize just for a moment that in the midst of the red, of the beautiful shining crimson, you see flecks and dots of smeared black. Oh, you that black bastard. Now you've done that. It. That black blood did a thing. Um, well, it's gonna... Moral of the story, don't inject yourself with random needle, kids. I didn't inject myself, don't somebody else. I was told it was a life-saving legs. thing. <laughs> don't he would have been dead much, 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 much earlier if it wasn't for this, even That's though true. I fucked what, him up. Uh, well, I'd like to slightly amend that, Ben, if I may then, briefly. Um, 
it's uh, as soon as he sees that he's gonna look at it for one second before tearing off after Edlin and put both hands on the wall, move forward and just <laughs> lick as much as the black the horrible red <laughs> mix oh, out the wall oh. that he's just spat up as he possibly can, swallow <laughs> it down and then run after it. Oh, you're on the you side. You're, you're muted, mate. You can't, can't hear. Probably a good thing. Um, you reach your <laughs> tongue out, and the, the frayed, uh, tattered mess of flesh that just extends from your maw, um, large chunks missing, as again, just blood pools and mixes with your spittle, as lingering down the tip of your tongue. Um, you just taste the brickwork, the copper. Perfection. <laughs> As the blood and the black just mix in your mouth. Chef's kiss. And as you just kind of allow a small amount of it just to run down the edges of your throat, you just feel this warmth spread out as if you'd just taken a, a swig of whiskey. <laughs> and it's with that kind of momentary burst of warmth that you slam your hands onto the edges of the wall and just fling yourself around it, um, tearing back down the alleyway after Evelyn. Oh, that's my action. Yeah. <laughs> There's a reason I'm not allowed to GM, as a heads up. Because <laughs> that shit happens. I, I mean, like we, would... <laughs> we could apply that shit to Ben. I'm really glad I haven't eaten dinner yet because it would have been everywhere. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy. We come to uh, Sybil and. Um... Oh, sorry, Bill Pogger. Oh, Sybil. I, uh, well, I mean, Sybil. Jack, didn't... sorry. Hello. I Jack. Sorry, I bypassed someone. <laughs> um, I, I would, I would, uh, I would certainly say that, that, Sybil's drunk enough to have not noticed any of that um, and <laughs> still thinks that he's just uh, chasing after Alistair who's gone to look for carrots um, <laughs> so seeing Edeline kind of run off you know in a kind of haze oh, 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 oh. Hello. Mm -hmm. I also uh, found uh, carrots it's fine <laughs> I, for carrots as far as I know where the carrots are it's okay she definitely knows where the carrots are <laughs> I found and, the sugar uh, yeah, well, he found a sugar well, with a bit of carrots. Teamwork. This is exactly what Sybil's thinking. Sybil's thinking, oh, oh, uh, you know, uh, Alistair, well, no, Sybil's drunk, so a Adrian, to him, has <laughs> run off and uh, found Adeline, who's obviously found carrots, and he's found sugar. And so Sybil will um, sort of watch them both sort of run past. And then, oh, no, don't do it. And then, uh, 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 Adrian! And it'll just start chasing after the both of them, I think. Um, with all the best intentions. I think the best thing about this ignorance. is that you're going to run after them shouting the wrong names of them, which means <laughs> everyone else will think that it's a totally different person. <laughs> yeah. yeah, you're going you're gonna to be shouting like Adrian and Eddie. Adrian! And Adrian who the fuck's yeah, Adrian? I, I, I would definitely, I would, at, yeah, genuinely, I would be shouting Eddie and Adrian. So that, that might happen. <laughs> <laughs> oh. <laughs> in which case you stumble after them and seeing just for a moment um you, you kind of watch um alistair lean against the wall for a moment um, from your perspective just inspecting it mm. and as you kind of stumble after uh he just kind of claws his way around i think um uh, adding to that i think I, I wouldn't even see or notice the blood i'll just make it to the same wall and yeah, uh, and be, I'll, I'll lean against it as well, put my hand on the wall. You just feel this warm, <laughs> wet, warm feeling just spread across your hand. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'll just be thinking that this is the wall that you've been leaning on because I've been leaning on walls all the journey, you know, stumbling. <laughs> oh, it's a good wall. Uh, <laughs> just kind of, I'll, I'll just wipe a bit of thing on whatever cloak I've got and then. Keep walking. <laughs> you just kind of continue on after him. Uh, Jack? Gonna... 
go over to Sam. Oh shit, the kid's here. <laughs> <laughs> wait, 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 did Sam, did Sam see all of this? Hopefully, hopefully he saw as little as possible. Yeah, hopefully not, yeah. <laughs> Sam's just got more trauma! The first <laughs> mention of Sam. Uh. <laughs> Jack, you, from your position, watching the others tear off, uh, just glance into the crowd, and you can see, just stood in between two uh, strangers, Sam, a look of abject horror on their face, just kind of stood, looking at where everyone was for a moment. I'm just gonna sort of rush to him, sort of slide down straight onto my knees and just hold him, trying to comfort him and myself at this point. Make a will persuasion check of difficulty two. <sighs> oh, will <laughs> yeah. Am I okay? Uh, persuasion better than I expected. How, how much momentum have we got, by the way? We got three. Okay. Uh, I will steal one. Three successes generate one momentum um you, you kind of reach out and just grab hold of sam who you get the feeling as you move towards them uh, you get this flash of an uh, a flash of um kind of fear uh, running across their features uh, as if they were ready to run um you wrap your arms around them just bring them in close oh you okay feel their heart pounding against their chest chest a cold sweat running across their skin um and the the air around them is just at a bitter chill at this moment danger's gone so gone so gone we're all right we're all right it's okay everyone's fine everyone's fine and as you kind of as you say that you just feel their head shaking oh, come on stay with me buddy stay with me we got it we got we got to be strong. You feel them just kind of the hands are pushed up against your chest and, and they just try to push you off. Yeah. I'll let them. Um, I'll... The, the hat, they very shakily start signing at you. Um, just because of the, the very uncomfortable nature of it, the fact they can't quite keep their hands stable. Um, I need you to make me a reason observation check of one, please. Okay. That reason. Observe this one. Mm, it's not great. Hmm. I don't know how I get a complication on this, but I did. And no successes. Just... As, as they kind of, you, you start to get an idea of what they're trying to say as they just repeat the movement very, very slowly. Um, this strained expression building on their face. Um, the whistles that were building in the distance um, get very, very close, very, very rapidly. Um, and you can hear people kind of reaching uh, the edge of the crowd. What's going on? There were, there, there, there were two people fighting in the streets. Uh, one of them tried to rip the fucking throat out of the other. And I think the first was a channeler. Um, and immediately you kind of glance back to see the protector have reached the crowd um, and are already starting to kind of question them. Uh, one of them twists back upon hearing the words Chandler, um, just grabs one of their, uh, another officer and just thump, shoves their finger out towards the alley where you've just seen the rest of the party disappear down. Get after him, go! Well, fuck. Shit's a little shit. Ben said someone may die today, and it's, it's on record for it to be me, so I don't think it's good. Uh, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm there's fine. two in the top running. I'd, I'd really like to see what the general consensus is from chat, to be fair. Well, take your bets now, fellas. <laughs> in safer climbs, back in the bar. <laughs> Meanwhile, yeah, in happier places. But no. 
both Cecily and Jules have wild away the last few minutes, uh, kind of getting to know your new acquaintances. Um, for yourself, Jules, um, Kurt has, uh, upon finishing the first drink, has stopped drinking. Almost immediately, he's kind of had the one, placed it back down, and just started talking to you. Okay. Uh, just literally asking more about you, why, what brought you back to the city. Um, he'd, he'd heard from Ginger that you'd taken off a while back to try and see the world, right some wrongs, all that good stuff. Uh, he's just genuinely quite curious. Um, for yourself, uh, Cecily, uh, Eli has moved um, from kind of quietly drinking by himself to having literally taken uh, a couple more glasses, picked himself up and left the bar, uh, heading over for another table, kind of further away from the rest of you. Whereas Maximilian, um, as interested and definitively eager to chat, has been completely and utterly enraptured by Bismarck. Um, <laughs> and, uh, on his knees just stretching him behind the ears um, and as we kind of come back he's just down there who's a good boy who's a good boy yes yes um, as Bismarck just kind of rolls onto his back and exposes his stomach um, and Maximilian just gets started scratching him around the side edges of the stomach mm -hmm. uh, which is ascending Bismarck into a frenzy of joy <laughs> So where, where did you get him? He's, he's beautiful, aren't you? Aren't you, boy? <laughs> uh, I found him as a stray years, yeah, a few years back. He's grown up quite big now. Um, yeah, it's probably about five, five years old. But yeah, I was just wandering the streets and I took pity on him and, and took him in. And yeah, now he's this lovable ball of fluff that you see before you. Oh, well, yes, he is, isn't he? I mean, strays were, were the best types, he, he says, <laughs> smiling as he kind of lets Bismarck kind of write himself. It's no different to me, are you, mate? <laughs> uh, what What yeah. about you? Where, where are you from? What, what do you do? Oh, me, well, I'm, I'm actually, I'm, I'm, I'm a trained alchemist, but yeah, much like, um, yeah, much like Bismarck here, got, got itchy feet and want to see the world, so just travel up and down the country, helping people where I can. <laughs> That's... That's awful noble of you. Oh, I can't say I'm the same, but you know, <laughs> good for you. Good for you. Um, well, I just obviously, I'd like to show you around. It's, have, you, have you been to our fine city before? No, it's my my first time here in, in Salzburg, actually. Oh well, I will tell you what, you should head down to the, uh, to the dusk docks later uh, late at night. The the way the sunset hits, it's, it's genuinely beautiful. How about I, I take you down afterwards, uh, after a couple more? Uh, yeah, well, I, I, potentially. I have to see what my friend wants to do, because uh, yeah, she's maybe not the best at walking in straight lines, but I really don't want to leave her on her own, so... Oh, if she's with Kurt, she's in safe hands. Yeah. As you kind of say that, both uh, Jules and Kurt just kind of sat uh, at the bar at this point, um, just kind of chatting with one another. So, Ginger said that you went travelling for a while. Yeah, I, I, I... Well... I don't... I don't tell many people this, but... Um... I, I used to run a bar similar to this myself, um, but you know how the guard are and how they can be a bit tough to yeah. some individuals. Yeah. It, well, it, one thing led to another, it shut down my bar and put a lot of people that I love in prison when they were doing stuff, well, good stuff. So I'm, I'm just kind of going about, I have gotten a home, going about just trying to help people. I found this lovely group lovely group you know they're they are like a bunch they've got some but like, some of them are really out there but i i think i think i found a home i really do well that's good i mean it's it's what they say family a family aren't always what they're you're born with they're who you find and uh, he kind of gestures his head back over where you can see uh, Maximilian kind of having gone back to playing with, with Bismarck as he talks over <laughs> his shoulder with Sicily. That's what I'm doing with these guys. We, we hope for better than we get, but... Hmm. Well, the, I'm only saying that because the problem that we're dealing with, hon, 
is that we're kind of stuck in here. We've got no papers or anything like that to get out. Like, we're just here for a job, which is a good thing. It's it's bringing vaccines to people who need it. We just have no papers to get out. Do you have any idea? Um, I, I don't travel with papers myself. We, we can't oh. get out where we need to go. You, you said vaccines? Yeah, for people who need it. Do you know anything about that? Um, he kind of leans back on the chair a little bit, um, kind of glances no, no, over. I'm, I'm good. I'm good. I am good i have not done the. I haven't finished it yet. That's why I'm here. I haven't even met the ill people. Don't worry. Don't worry. What? Where, where I, did I, you get the vaccines from? I don't know. I, um, I'm not really the one to be talking about it because I'm actually unsure. I'm I'm only here to like get people from point A to point B. Personally, I I, I don't know much about it. You you know you know the stuff. You know what you, you've done it before, right? Yeah, I mean, protecting caravans was part of, part of the war, but it, yeah, I, I mean, if you if you're trying to help, where where are the people you travel with? Are they with you? Some of them have gone out uh, to actually go pick up the wagon. They should be here any moment. Um, we're just hmm. kind of here to kind of get the grounds and also find a way to well, leave. Honestly, uh, do you have any idea how? Well, how do you do it? You you said you don't have papers. No, we um, we we travelled in on the waterway. Uh, wait till nights come in. The waterway. Wait till uh, that. Yeah, the, the, they're guarded to a degree, but if you can time your travel right, you can get in and out between before anyone even notices. I mean, it's you got to have <laughs> strong lungs for it. Um, Do you have to hold your breath the whole time? Only when there's someone watching. <laughs> right, right. But if you were looking to get out of the city, we can. Yeah probably help you um, you can help us oh yeah. stop you're so kind i'm gonna hold you to that i am gonna hold you to that because honestly you've been like like this this place here it, it's just been so kind and the world is so much better that you're here yeah well that's the oil lantern for you it's it's a warm place right it is right it is i mean if you're looking to get out, we'll be in the waterways this evening. Um, tell you what, meet me. He just shouts out, Ginger, can I grab a bit of paper? Yeah, sure. Ginger kind of makes his way back down, just grabs out a couple of scraps um, of old parchment uh, from under the table, um, just slams it down. He goes, uh, is that, no, it's, I don't have a pen for you. That's uh, fine. It's fine. And he just kind of pulls out a small piece of charcoal and just scribbles down um, on on the little piece of paper before pushing it back to you. Uh, make your way down there in uh, just this evening, and we'll be able to meet you up Southern Waterway, uh, just by Dusk Docks. By Dusk Docks, which is where. Oh. Get That's where you're gonna go take your. That's where Max is gonna, yeah, show yeah, me the beautiful sunset. Oh, <laughs> oh, anyway, so um, what I'm hearing is that you guys are gonna have a double date. This is great. At, at what time? time? Do you say in the evening or at about night? midnight? Okay. <laughs> Love the contrast. <laughs> ah, oh, ah. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, what I can do is I could always just like, I think I might just lean over to say to Jules, I was like, well, me and Max are going to head there at sunset, so, you know, I'll know the way by the time uh, midnight comes around. Yeah. Cool. Okay. Um, well, when the gang comes back, we can quickly pop off, do the do our drive, and be back by midnight. Sounds good. In and out, quick. In and out, that's the best way for it. Exactly. Uh, kind of... Silent but deadly. <laughs> Well, look, I, I, I've got a couple of things I need to, to go and sort out. Um, tell you what, meet me back, meet me down there as I say at midnight, and we'll we'll, we'll get you out of here. Play, uh, get you out of here. Uh, where are you heading? Where, where's next for you? Well, we're, I believe we're. Well, I'm not 100 percent sure. I, I, I believe we're going south. That's uh, yeah. We're, we're, that's we're, what we're, we usually go. Yeah, head, headed towards Montague Island, uh, where the outbreak is. 
that's where we're making the delivery. Okay, cool. Well, uh, I'm, I'm sure I can. Uh, we can arrange that. Right. Well, it's been an absolute pleasure. Uh, he says, and he kind of just gives you a hug immediately. As I as I do go in for the hug, mm -hmm. um, I'm going to have to roll for this. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Okay. There's an actual twenty. I am going to ask to him to get a room. As in, like a room in the in the hotel. So as I lean over, I'm gonna be like, "If you get a room, Hearn, I'll be there in five. I'll wink and then slap my ass as I walk away. <laughs> Your own ass. Yeah, my own ass. <laughs> and yeah. then I am gonna stumble a little bit because I am drunk. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah, you, you kind of, in my you, head, I'm thinking, damn, I am being sexy. It's really not it. It's really <laughs> not it. <laughs> you kind of uh, do that, just saunter off, Perry. <laughs> <laughs> um, but of course, you... I'm so drunk, I, I'll wink, but I'll go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully, do it with both my eyes. <laughs> um, as you kind of uh, immediately start to, to saunter off, um, he just smiles, uh, chuckles to himself, is very nervous, <laughs> mm. uh, turns back to Max and just leans over to Ginger. Um, and Cicely, more than a, a, within earshot, is not trying to be quiet. Mm -hmm. uh, Ginger? Yeah. Can I get a room for the evening? You he kind of looks at him and then over at Jules, like, not for me. Tell her I'm there. Get it, get some food and water up there for her. Make sure she gets Nice! Well fed for the evening. That's what mm -hmm. I meant to do. <laughs> <laughs> I ever heard that. I'm coming up as well. <laughs> We're going to have a really nice, like, dinner day, just me and Cicely, just, like, yeah. eating all their food. It's, girls it's a girl's night. night in. Girls night in. <laughs> it's, yeah. like, it's like, sleep like in the afternoon. <laughs> I'm drunk. Yeah. I could sleep wherever. I'm drink. tired. I haven't like, have slept a or eaten. <laughs> this, might, this might get over my fatigue, honestly. It's never too early for girls. Basically, right? it's literally just Saturday, Saturday on any festival site ever. And if we were, if we're mm -hmm. gonna do the the swimming stuff at midnight, I might as well get some napping. Mm-hmm. True right. that. True that. Might have um, a bath. <laughs> oh yeah, bath for sure. Kind of yeah. ginger just nods at him, uh, and at that point, um, Kurt turns back to Maximilian. Um, smiles at Sicily. I'm afraid I'm going to have to take my young ward with me. We've got some work we need to do. Oh, but, but Kurt, is... shut up. <laughs> I'm sorry for any inconvenience he may have caused you. Oh, no, it's fine. We're still going to be in town for a couple of days yet, I think. You know, we'll be here. Bismarck will be here. Come, come say hi again. It was nice. Yeah, it's been a pleasure. Um, and he just offers you a hand. And I, I shake it. Yeah, and give you a nice, uh, good, firm handshake. It's been a pleasure. Um, and he just goes to lead Maximilian off, who kind of like leans over Kurt's shoulder. It's like, I I'll still be uh, at, the at the docks around midnight, uh, around um, the sunset, if you want to meet. Yeah, yeah, sure thing. Cool, cool. He says as he just slightly <laughs> pulls away. <laughs> Aww. Aww. We've got a fucking sitcom, and there's like. <laughs> Uh, My heart goes out to that boy. My heart goes out to him. <laughs> Wait until he's brutally killed him. Honestly, us, Maximilian like, should okay, get the hero minutes. points. So yeah, can we level him up his... next time? Yeah, yeah, let's level him up. Yeah. <laughs> Great. Ten out of ten, man. You shot your shot. Well done. <laughs> um, and with that, we could dart back across the city. <laughs> ah. <laughs> Boating music. You no longer in, sunshine and rainbows. You know in Kill Bill, like whenever the bride sees like an enemy and it goes like, -na -na, that's literally yeah. the sound yeah. that's happening as we just pass <laughs> over. Bam, 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 bam. Yeah. Yes. Um, oh god. Here we go. Okay. Okay. Yeah. And at that point, we, we return back, of course, to Adeline. Um, as you tear your way just through the alleyways, um, stumbling, your hands not quite able to support you properly. Anytime you go to grab something, of course, you just kind of slam your fingers against it and just grind. Uh, there is literally sparks emanate from your fingertips uh, as you move. 
That was a pre really premature roll. Jeez, Holly. Oh, I've lost my dice. Oh no. It's fine, I have spares. <laughs> and that's why you need so many. Which you can get at insert sponsors here. Hey. So yes, uh, running sparks. Edlin is <laughs> gonna die. Continue. Um, you, as I say, you just kind of brand around the corner. What particular way are you going? You're trying to head back to the carriage? Are you just blindly sprinting? Uh, yeah, I'm just... Well, I'm literally just trying to get far away from that area as possible, especially if I've seen the, uh... Protectors, Warden, whoever the... Uh, the Protectorate. Yeah, Protectorate, especially if I've seen them. And now that people are shouting Chandler, I want to get as far away as that area as I can. And hoping to God that I don't see Alistair, because there will be a, uh, punching match. Well, actually, no, I have claw hands, there will be a... Slap off. Yeah, I, I'm, I'm sure with eye and hand, I could do a lot of damage. I mean, I never said it would be a light slap off. Yeah, it's uh, whoever gets to. Yeah, um, sorry, sidetracked. Yes, I am running blindly because I don't know where I'm going. I'm just running. Cool. Uh, you just start kind of tearing off um, into uh, the, the back alleys and just turning left, right, whichever way seems to come first, um, vaulting, trying to vault over debris as you come near it, uh, your body feeling heavier than it was before for fairly obvious reasons. Yeah. Uh, the jumps are more difficult. Um, you kind of stumble and fall, and at one point you start to hear footsteps just pounding the ground behind you. Um, you glance back. Alistair, can I ask you to make me a brawn athletics check of difficulty two? I'm going to try to find my lost dice, because that was my good dice. No worries. The good dice. Uh, one success. One success. You can hear the um, footprint, uh, the foot beat is kind of there, words. Do apologize. Uh, the footsteps beating against the ground, but you can't see anything coming down the alleyways behind you. You're just aware of the sound of it, of heavy breathing, just That's charging it. after you. That's his foot, boy. <laughs> Zoom. Just roll me a quick d20. Let me know the result. Who, him or um, you. Or me? Or, uh, yeah. Got this one. This one only messed me up once yesterday. 13. 13. You keep twisting and turning through the alleyways until eventually it kind of opens up into a large uh, kind of just uh, open area where you can see a large uh, amount of kind of plain grass uh, lying out um, uh, above your head. You can see washing lines of various clothing kind of hanging and people just arrayed in what turns out to just be a small courtyard of, <clears throat> excuse me, uh, just the backs of people's houses. Twisting off to the right, you can see a path that leads onto the main road. And for the various people kind of dotted in, they don't notice you entering in for the moment. Um, if anything, you're just a, a haphazard image on the edge of their periphery vision. Could I do something very unedlin like if they haven't particularly noticed me per se, like they're, they're, like I said, periphery with the word beginning with P that describes that side, that kind of peripheral. Thing. Yes, Periphery. that word. Um, yeah, uh, can I just see if I can just very certainly just take something that may I, that I could potentially use to wrap around this area, so you don't particularly see the iron. You you kind of just um, reach up and just grab a various piece of a bit of clothing nearby and just wrap that around your neck. Um, it's not difficult to hide. Um, however, when I say wrap around you go to reach up to grab it yeah. you can't actually move your hand you're just clawing just do, do what do a llama and just like ah <laughs> <laughs> you, some say it's the third hand yeah <laughs> you bite try to just bite at one of the nearby pieces of clothing and it just doesn't come off the line um, can you make me a real resilience check <laughs> I'm just imagining if she's hanging there, like, still biting. It's just the sentence, I'm just gonna llama it. <laughs> oh, I said that, I was, I was thinking more like Donkey when he's trying to get free, just goes like, ah, that kind of thing, you know? Uh, Will Resilience 2, yeah? Will Resilience 2. 
<laughs> Sorry, I've made myself. Um, immunity, would that, would that work or not? No. Did it's I think it bit. would? I don't have discipline, um, uh, surprisingly. You think she would. Um, but no. I do. So do you want the good news or the bad news? Oh, I'll take the bad news, then the good news. <coughs> Natural 20, and then a, then a pass. So it's consistent, honestly. I, yeah. um, I I'm glad to see that I can, you know, roll a uh, half of numbers, so... Um. You get to the point where you're, you're trying to literally just bite the clothing off, um, and in doing so, you draw attention onto yourself, uh, as you kind of just flail your hands up in the air, knocking people's washing free, trying to kind of grab any and bite stuff up. Um, as people nearby take notice, you hear one woman again, Oi! Get off my delicates! <laughs> um, okay, can I just like, obviously knowing that there's a lot of me, start making random noises, pretending like I'm high, and then just run through everything. <laughs> like, I'm just gonna just make it seem like I'm fucking high. Like, I'm literally just like... Give, I'm... Me, give me your best random high person noises, please. Yep. <laughs> I wanna hear this. <laughs> yes. Thing this is, has been a stream I of, of live <laughs> streams, streams no, isn't it? No excuses thing is, now. Thing is, no, thing no. is right, every no. time I've talked, that's you just hearing my high, random high person uh, noises. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, I, I, I'm distinctly asking for more than that. <laughs> your, your ability to leave this situation wholly falls down to how well your high yeah. point person mm. noises are uh, kind of picked up. Oh, fuck. This, and what I would, what would Edeline consider as a high oh, noise as well? Yeah. You know? <laughs> You've been exposed to many, many drugs throughout her journey. Yeah. Uh, I've she has, in the has, foot. Has, oh. she's, she's Edeline had a gap here? <laughs> She's, she's uh, very irony. Just imagine that there's had a been yeah. yeah. some hydrogen sulfide, and she's been there was, sniffing there the was, old there hydrogen was a sulfide. Year, there was a year between college and when I left the Chalice, so it's just a blur for Edlin, so I don't know what she got through in that period. <laughs> I just went to go find We're myself. about to find out. Yeah. <laughs> uh, set the scene for you momentarily. Um, <laughs> as this old woman yells at you from her position, um, this uh, Grenda uh, picks herself up from the small carved wooden table that her dear departed husband gave her as one of the final gifts uh, a small cup of tea just chilling against the wind as she watches her grandchildren uh, across oh, no. on the green uh, throwing a ball, uh, ball to one another um, she hears a sound from uh, the alleyway nearby twists over to see uh, a strange woman just dart out and start reaching up into her washing um, just swinging her hands angrily up at them she puts the tea down stands up shaking under the weight of her age and her hips that just aren't what they used to be um leans onto her chair excuse me um as she watches the woman <laughs> knock a piece of clothing down um her, her bloomers reaching down with her teeth and goes to <laughs> pick them up <laughs> okay and she just yeah, shouts I'm out, now. i get away from my delicates <laughs> as this Whoa. woman pulls herself up hands clawed yeah, okay, like in that. place, neck awkwardly twisted, <laughs> looks to catch her in the eye, and... I'm lit literally just going to go, ah! <laughs> I'm just going to start running and going, ah, nah, nah, nah. <laughs> I don't fucking know. <laughs> Wait, wait for Alistair yeah. to come running around the corner. <laughs> <laughs> Dripping with blood, just like... <laughs> also making... <laughs> Oh no! You squeal and <laughs> well, I would like, I would like to preference that just to sell the scene a bit more. She's gonna do a headless chicken, run around a circle, and then bolt. <laughs> she's gonna go like, ah, yeah. She's selling the scene, man. I'm telling you, she is a fucking method actor. Yeah. <laughs> the comparison in scenes right now is amazing. Yeah. <laughs> 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 this is like voice tech. You can have it in any so, order you like. It's just yeah. so basically, <laughs> we're, we're, and we've pop. got a scale <laughs> <laughs> where we've got Edelin and uh, Alistair, Jack and Sybil. <laughs> it's the scale of fucked. 
<laughs> I might actually start crying in a minute. Oh my god! I, I, I honestly, I was worried that Sybil was taking the tone in 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 the wrong direction. You know, you, you just had this brutal attack where it's blood and it's character-driven stuff. A drunken Sybil following. I thought, oh, I don't know. It's, it's a bit, maybe I should let them have some serious time. And immediately, the next thing you know, he described as Edla and going. <laughs> I'm running in a circle right now. I feel a bit less bad about being so happy now. I'm keeping up. Oh, oh my we've god. Got, we've got to sell a scene of it. Uh, I feel that the session of me darting in and out, uh, it's set the scene already with things not quite going to plan. Um, but don't worry, we'll make up for it next session when it gets significantly darker. Um, speaking of darker, oh. at that moment. <laughs> clawing their way through the back alleys um, at the point where they're almost finding yourself easier to run by dropping to haunches and supporting yourself uh, with one arm propelling forward as your feet just kind of follow after. Alistair. So, Alistair, after yeah. 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 Please, go ahead. No, okay, so... Um... Alistair is going to burst out of this alleyway. Please uh, make a random noise. Please make it consistent. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I'm going to roll a dice on this. <laughs> <laughs> For the volume. <laughs> For the Scatter. sound he's making. <laughs> For the type of noise, let's put it that way. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Because there's, there's kind of two ways this could go. Um, one is horrific and the other one is hilarious. So, uh, there's a very somebody, thin line between them both. There's a choose, fine line. Somebody choose horrific. odds or evens for me. Odds. Yeah, oh, odds. I, I think I know it. You're odd. There you go. Uh, it is evens. Oh, no. <laughs> Do we get hilarious or horrific? <laughs> what does that mean? We'll find, we'll find out. So, returning to Grenda's point of view. <laughs> Oh, no! Yeah, Grenda. We're gonna give this woman a heart attack. I'm sorry, Grenda. Well, we've, uh, is this lady the second of my cabbages last... character yeah, that we've invented? Yeah. 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 My As Christmas! The first woman, um, or the, the woman, disappears off, charging through the alley, uh, charging out of the alleyway, across the green, um, and out into the street on the other side. Um, she just kind of watches for a second in abject horror. Kids! Get inside! twists back moving to go and pick her clothes up and as she does as soon as she twists out back of the alleyway go the, the alistair uh, or something bursts out of the alleyway what was le left of her line and her clothes are scattered into the mud as it spits and spews teeth and blood in every direction it looks backwards and left and right as if searching for something almost sniffing the air as far as it does and it bounds it doesn't even pad it bounds across to her leaping over anything in the way it comes right up to her face looking her with bloodshot red and black eyes it's more dripping and caked in brown soaked blood shards of teeth dripping out of its open distended mouth and sploshing into her tea it looks and says through garbled jaws which way did she go <laughs> make a will uh <laughs> let's say brawn you just give it her here. we've just um, killed her we've just killed her let's give you one <laughs> yeah. will which one mate sorry uh, we're going to say brawn persuasion. Brawn persuasion. Okay. That was, that, that was the funny option. So. Yeah. <laughs> That's one success. She just very shakily points her hand out uh, towards the street. Do you mind rolling free damage dice for me, by the way? Sure. Oh. No. Oh god, not again. Come on, Dice. Come on, be good. Is it a three Cthulhu heads? Oh, oh my god. There's only one Cthulhu head this time. Oh, but, okay. But it is three other damage. Well, you, you, you just kind of see her just very shakily point, and as she does, her hand just kind of rests on her heart. And you can see. 
and it just drops. Her body collapses into her chair um, as her her pupils just dilate. Her chest continues to just rise and fall. Uh, however, her hand grips into the wood of the chair and just starts grinding into it. As she does so, he's almost going to stop for a second and look at her and slightly tilt his head and focus on the rapidly beating vein in her neck. Mm -hmm. Mm, No, 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 sir. Extending his tongue and licking the grime and filth off his lips for a second before shaking his head and then running straight after you at that point uh, just leave Brenda there kind of gripping onto the uh, chair hand shaking out as she just tries to reach um, for anything at hand she kind of grasps at the edge of the plate holding a tea pulls that and just sends both the plate and the uh, small china cup crashing to the ground um, as the heart attack sets in and you just disappear heading off into the street I think it's time we ground Alistair he doesn't get to leave the carriage. He doesn't get to leave the carriage. You've lost it. Don't leave him in there with me. I'm dead. Otherwise, he's he's lost. He's 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 lost his privilege. He's lost all his privileges. He doesn't get anything. Yeah, uh, Jack. <laughs> <laughs> what do you mean, Jack? <laughs> What noise are you going to make as you burst out? <laughs> <laughs> when I wake up. <laughs> Back in the street. Um, Jack, you find yourself there with um, Sam, uh, who's still shaking, uh, hands very, very nervously, still kind of making the same signs as the protector make their way around the group. Um, just kind of taking uh, just taking uh, any description they can um, from just people nearby. One of the uh, random um, people does kind of gesture in your direction. Oh. It begins to move in uh, in your general way. Okay. I'm going to pick Sam up and leave as if I'm just gonna go and do something else as a the average Joe person who isn't on the run from the law would do. You sweep Sam up. Um, again, they're still at this point. Their hands have steadied for a bit, and you kind of get a quick glance at the their hands as you start pulling away. Uh, you can hear the voice uh, of the protector behind you, sir. Sir, stop. We we need to talk to you. <laughs> And you just kind of mm. nudge your way through the crowd as you hear the voice just intensifying a wee bit. So stop! Mm. Wait! Oi! Oi! <laughs> you can keep going or stop. If he gets to the point where it sounds angered, shouting, then I'll look over and. Oh shit, he's talking to me. And yeah. You kind of twist back to him, and as you do, you get a proper glance um, over in Sam's hands, and you in- interpret the signal. It's coming. Fuck! Oh, I don't, I don't. And as you kind of you just trace your vision up from Sam's hands across the face, you can see those beads of sweat intensifying. Um, this very strained expression becoming more and more pronounced. Don't worry. Don't worry. It'll be alright. Do what you gotta do. Uh, At that point, the protector uh, just pushes his way through the crowd and reaches you. (laughs) Sir, you need to explain to me what the hell's going on here. I... I don't... I couldn't fucking tell you. I see a crowd of people. I want. I'll come in, see what's happening. Fucking somebody's jumped on a woman. I don't fucking know. I got. I look. Can I just get my son out of here, mate? I <sighs> make me a will persuasion check. Difficulty two. Okay. Okay. Well, give me. There you are. Difficulty one. Complication range of seventeen. I like it. 
Uh, will persuasion. Correct. So I will borrow a momentum for three dice. But I don't know if that's better. If you only need one pass, you don't want to get a 17. Yeah, you, you are, you you are chatting. You are get. chatting absolute truths. You so are speaking truths. If you're the person truth. who once had a convocation range of 14, more dice is not good. So that is uh, fucking uh, so fourteen to be. <laughs> oh, two successes. No, no complications. All right. Are they okay? They say just kind of looking they're, down. They're on. Her, they're not hurt. They're not hurt. They're just freaked out. As I think we all are a bit. I just want to get home. All right. Get on your way, sir. Uh, and he you. just turns back into the crowd, uh, allowing you the opportunity to just push through. <laughs> Boy, I was running. <laughs> you just break through the crowd and just start going. Yeah. Um, yeah. As you were saying, you were kind of moving away from the protectorate. You are having to go the opposite way to everyone else. I don't know where the fuck they're going, and they've just disappeared. And I'm like, no. <laughs> they they, just they have to come lot. back to yeah. the car, so. That's our assigned spot where we will all eventually meet up again. <laughs> okay, cool. Uh, you just start making your way away. Sybil. <laughs> yes. <clears throat> you are stumbling through the alleyways at this point. Mm -hmm. um, just kind of very quietly just making your way through, trying to track the others by the sound alone. <laughs> Um, can you make me, let's say, a insight survival check for me, please? Only difficulty one, because you're uh, you're a street kid, you know the back alleys, you know the streets well. Just in your kind of drunken stupor, it's a little bit harder at the moment. <laughs> I wondered the back alleys of many streets, very drunk back in my day. <laughs> uh, could I just double check what those... Uh, yeah, of course, it was Insight Survival. In which case... Ah, that's one success. Oh, wait, exactly. hold on, hold on. Uh, so, I've got... Oh, no, never mind, I've got no focus, I've just got... A, yeah, one success. That's absolutely fine. You start navigating your way through the back alleys relatively well, and kind of following um, the trail of... Uh, what you see is just broken uh, pieces of barrel crates uh, a couple of windows have been just caved in um, as you're making your way around and just you see here or there just splodges and large streamed patches of uh, red and black kind of marking the passage of something moving not as not normally more of a frenzy of mo uh, a frenzy of momentum uh, tracking something uh, I'll uh, I'll continue following that, but I'll be very vocal and muttering to myself. Oh, oh following the blood, or some following the blood, always following the blood. <laughs> Whose blood is it? Is it? Never mind. I'm following the blood. I just keep following <laughs> the blood. <laughs> <laughs> Why is there blood? I'll find out at the end of the blood. I'll just keep. <laughs> I'll follow the, the blood. blood. Keeping an eye on the blood and kind of keeping my head down. I'm not really looking what's ahead of me. Just follow the trail of the blood. Follow the trail of the blood. Follow the trail of blood. Yeah. Follow the trail of blood. <laughs> you continue to just kind of walk around. Um, at one point, just turn a corner um, to loop around uh, to what you know should kind of come into a large open area. Uh, and as you twist, um, you just see a dead end in front of you. Someone's designed this alley not drunk friendly. <laughs> uh, okay. I just do a little spin. You, you spin around and you can just see at uh, the far end um, the, the route you come, um, kind of twisting around back around the alleyway, and you see right at the end a, a light. Uh, the same light as the path you came down. You're, you're fairly sure of it. Except there's a silhouette. Something rapidly moving towards you. Hmm. 
Uh, uh, well, I'm a drunken state. I'm going to kind of lean in a little. Sip trying to see. Ah. It's going to be great if drunkenness granted you immunity to the hands. Mm. Uh, nothing we would never be sober that. again. <laughs> I think... I'm gonna double. I'm gonna do a double take to <laughs> double take to check that that wall is still a dead end behind me. You, you twist in place to start heading back to the wall, and you still see it there, black as anything. Um, the the ridges in between the stones, kind of just broken down. As you kind of close in, you place your hands against the wall, just trying to to find purchase, and just in between the grouch, you just see what you would originally think to just be gravel and stone, maybe um, some form of joinery, and just poking out of the piece of uh, concrete, you see just fingernails. Running. Teeth. I'm running. Um, I'm, I'm running. And I mean like sprinting, like sobered up immediately. Uh, sprinting like opposite direction. If anything, half leaning forward, just falling forwards to get out of there as fast as possible. Um, going you twist in place, sprinting. Um, your feet just about kind of haphazardly holding you in place as you start tearing away. Uh, you twist back around the corner, um, hoping to see that light again in front of you, and you see it just distant, the same silhouette rapidly moving towards you. You reach out, and as you do, there's this... <laughs> And the stones on the walls next to you just start jutting and moving, racing you forwards as they start pulling out and slamming in place in front of you. Sprinting. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You're not getting me again. No, you're not. Make me a brawn athletics check. Absolutely. There's momentum if you want it. There's three (laughs) momentum. Okay, uh, I did roll, but one of them dropped off, so I'm going to re-roll, so I might take that momentum if I can. You uh, may. Okay, we rolled in there. Ah! <laughs> ah, it's dropped again! That's an eight. That's... Uh, that's really ah, That's a two, and then that's a twelve. What was the roll? Uh, sorry, what was the check again? Uh, Brawn Athletics. Brawn Athletics. Brawn seven. It's, it's so cool how you can just go straight from that voice to your normal voice and, like, just like that. That's two successes. Two successes, okay. You continue to run, sprinting, your feet pounding against the floor. You can feel just the stones again slamming in place in front of you. Uh, You reach your hand out just to try and batter them away as best you can, and you just feel running up the back of your legs, working its way in the folds of your clothing, these long probing fingers. Just tagging against the edge of your flesh. No, no. You just feel, as you kind of start going, you can see the light just disappearing slowly as more and more stones fade in. You drop down, sliding under a few of them as they just slam overhead and just get that feeling of the fingers just passing from your flesh for a moment. Freedom, a moment where you can feel air breezing under you and you pull yourself up the light still in front go to move as suddenly darkness just envelops you Ah, the light vanishes and the cold re-emerges i have a void point i i i I, I, feel the hands moving their way slowly across your skin wrapping themselves through the locks of your hair, caressing you. No, can't do that. Void point. Can I void point? You can certainly void point. I'm certainly yes. void pointing. Taste. No. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking no. <laughs> Fucking no. <laughs> um... <laughs> So well. Okay, context. Oh, well. Ah. Oh, are you spending your void point? 
So what was that? Uh, am I? How are you spending your void point? How am I? As you just feel this sensation of something wet making its way across your cheek. Uh, the, uh, your eyelid on your right hand side, you feel a nail just prick against the end of it, just slowly drag it up. Another working across your lips, over your nose, a finger probing in and gripping the grabbing the other end as that wet sensation moves its way slowly towards your eye. Just one moment. No! Stop! Him. Yeah, but how are you gonna have to change so quick? <coughs> who could you bump into? Like, who would who would I'm in this little fucking don't I? It's your it's your choice, it's your treat. No, it's Fuck not. It. Like, I, I'm yes, it is, it's your point. point. Take you take choose. Point. No, 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 no. As, as in, I, like, before I use the bump, I've been absorbed into this void thing, right? Snap, still snap, got the whatever. opportunity. You can void point the truth. Void point that shit, boy. But I'm void. Yeah, I'm. Uh, void, uh, say anything. Void say point to free. do what though? Void exactly. point to say you're free. Void point to break yeah. free. I'll void point to say that I'm free then. That I never got caught and that I'm still fucking running. But I don't know how that's gonna help me. You burn the void point. Um, you lash out, feeling it just kind of continue to wrap around you, hands spreading across the entirety of your form, slowly raising you from the floor. You feel your feet leave the cobblestones and just the final... <laughs> As you uh, just swing your hand out, collapse onto the floor in front um, and light just bursts back into the world as you feel a set of hands reaching down under you uh, to try and pull you up. I need a reaction. Uh, 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 wiggle, struggle and punch. Wiggle, struggle and punch. You just throw yourself backwards, throwing a, uh, a punch out as the protector of guard that charged down the uh, alleyway towards you mm -hmm. um, kind of takes the hit. Uh, it, it's quite a weak blow, more out of fury and fear. It lands in the, their gut, like, oh, oh, fucking hell, what's wrong with you? Uh, I, I wouldn't react logically, it's just, it, it's still going to be fear. It's just shock and fear, Craw crawling into the corner against the wall. Uh, can I also get you to make a uh, will resilience check of five? A five, fuck. Uh, how much momentum have we got? I mean, <laughs> two. You can, you can only spend one at a time yeah. to get anything. So if you want to, you would have you to get it. two ones. Yeah, and a, and a pass. pass at least. Yeah. Yeah. So it's unlike sure. two. Do you want to just? Yeah, I, mean, I mean, it's there if you want it. Go and take it. It's a team. Yeah, I'll, I'm gonna grab it. Yeah. Why not? That's two successes, so you know. And uh, and one. Uh, three successes total. How much courage do you have? Oh god. Got it, Mark. Just one. That's gonna suck, isn't it? Yeah. You take eight mental stress. <gasps> Your hands just kind of as you pin yourself against the wall. Um, shaking, you can feel you just running one of your hands up, and you can still feel the wet patch on your face. Uh. And the stones that had kind of already started pressing their way out of your skin had pushed ever so further along to the point where they're now kind of just reaching your cheekbones on either side. And just kind of as you're leaning on the wall, you just feel the various curves and imperfections on the wall pressing into your back. 
and just you, you get the ghostly sensation of them moving. As the protectors leans down to you, son, are you? Have you taken something? Talk to me. Come on, snap out of it. Uh -huh. You gain a mental injury. Yeah. Simply entitled Mine. Oh, that does not sound good. <laughs> not great. Nice to be wanted. I mean, yeah, I can't relate to be fair, but you know. Oh. I can't make yourself make you take stress, mental stress from your own comments, Holland. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's my own job there, Ben. I've just given myself five mental stress from that one comment. God damn. The protectorate, uh, as I say, tries to kind of snap you out of it. Look, you should come with me. We can get you somewhere safe. Oh, get whatever's okay. in your system out. Uh, and a simple kind of process is, you know, just what, what what's going on. I think, uh, I think he, he'd be sort of after that, which is in itself a fairly sobering experience. Um, and uh, after that, I think he'd, I think he'd jump back into just sort of, oh, oh shit, protectorate. I've got to, you know, I've got to get out of this. Just autopilot. Um, and I think he'd just uh, he'd look at the protector and go, Oh, sorry, lad. Oh, I've had a few drinks. Uh, I've got this allergy of cats and I uh, saw some oil, you know, strains throw around it. Saw, saw one around and I freaked out. And then you went up and grabbed me and I, I just... I didn't know what to do. I'm so sorry, man. I'm so sorry. I'm, uh, I'm getting back on my way. I've got my grand. Yeah, I've got. I just get along. I just get along. I'll be out yeah. of here. You, you do that. Look, um, he tries to help you up. Oh, I got. Oh, I got. Yeah. I've got it. I've got it. Uh, kind of. Uh, okay. Look, one. You, you. You kind of just start pulling yourself back up. Mm. Look, just. <laughs> So you what, get, get yourself down to Morgos. He'll he'll be able to whip you up something to help, you know, flush. I, I appreciate it, man. It doesn't it doesn't do me well these days. You know, it, it's past me. It's past me. Oh, thank you. You're welcome. And um, look, I, I need to ask you: did, did you see anyone come down here? I couldn't remember what I had for breakfast, uh, I'll be honest. Uh, I, I'm seeing people all the time. Uh, I can't say I've seen anyone around these back alleys. They're all pretty empty this time of day. You know? All right. Okay, well, get, get yourself home, old timer. There's... Yeah, just just head yourself off. Go on. I'm not too far. But go. Uh, I'm gonna sort of stumble off, feeling the oh. drunken sort of now hangover that's started to hit, and I just sort of stumble, but very quickly, increasing in speed as I get a little bit further, trying to get away from that fucking wall. You you kind of move your way uh, just back down the alleyway, away from him, turning the corner where you can see what was that kind of emp that the heavy dead end is completely open. You can see the carriage just around the corner from it. Okay. Okay. That's the carriage. <laughs> I think Sybil's just going to take a breath and, and 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 get out of that alley. And just as he's walking towards the carriage, just have a look back. And, you know. You glance back and you just see the protector that stood at the edge of the alleyway, just smiling and staring at you. Uh -huh. You kind of blink. 
and they're already halfway down the alleyway. Die. Gonna die. And he's gonna go off and muttering while he heads towards the thing, just... It's not, it's not worth it, what, 3,000 coin getting to this thing, I swear it was, I don't even remember. It's not, it's not like this. I don't know what I'm doing with my life. Mum said I'd be able to do all sorts. Oh my God. You stumble your way back to the carriage um, and just kind of settle in place back against the cool wood. Um, nice and flat, remarkably so. Uh, reassuringly so. Um, you know the, inter- the interior of the carriage is there, the, the lovely cushioned seats. You kind of just glance in it's as it was when you left it. The only major difference is just on the exterior edge of the um, window, you can see a s- mass of deep claw marks. As if something had reached out from the interior and just grabbed a hold of the edge and just kind of dragged themselves free of it. I think at this point there's a million things going through Sybil's mind, but after everything, he, he, he just kind of like trying to process everything. Just goes, a fucking carriage. It's got no horses and it's broken again. <laughs> just gonna break down and get on a knee and just kind of have a little cry for a minute. <laughs> oh, you so just, just drop, <laughs> drop to your knees and openly weep in the alleyway <laughs> as the cool air just settles around you meanwhile <laughs> sat together on the lovely feather cushions a thick duvet lying across a heartily built queen sized bed in a room that Jewel has spent many many years in and out of through her uh, through her older years um in the oil lantern both sicily and jewel sit happily kind of spread themselves out a little table in front of them has been uh, set with uh, a large jug of cooled water uh, small cups of various liquors uh, kind of a tasting and or a flight of whiskies and several kind of plates full of grapes cured meats lovely kind of cheddar laced breads and a nice hearty pot of thick dowry butter and you just kind of sat there the, the the door slightly open so you can still hear the music kind of leaking in from outside um the sounds of the bar people enjoying themselves and you just kind of <gasps> you know, just just rest there bismarck is just sleeping soundly on the floor in front of you i I was going to say, can I, can I, instead of pick up the water, can I just pick up the alcohol instead and just keep drinking? Of course you can. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to say, I have no sense of graceful decorum. I'm just stuffing my face. I haven't yeah. eaten so yeah. well in so long. <laughs> just, yeah, every sort of thing. I'm just like grabbing each and every one of them. Yeah. <laughs> oh my God. So, Han, um, what, do you, what do you think of all the people in our group, you know? Um, well, they're all a bit nuts. They but we're a bit nice, nice. <laughs> aren't I we? Mean, just uh, Sam, Sam's sweet. He's a sweet boy. Eddie's. Ed, I like Eddie. I get on fine with Eddie. Eddie's fine. Jack, a okay. And Sybil means well, but yeah, he seems. He just seems very, a, just a little bit of a like, just a blur. Yeah. You know? I mean, like he, just, he's uh, he's helpful. He's so helpful. He is. There's just nothing but to he, him. Yeah. Oh. He's sweet. Yeah. He he's, he yeah. really wants to help, but he's I have a little a bit of a wet blanket, honestly, oh. hun. He tries his best. He's just he's just not there. Yeah, he needs I a bit I of confidence. Yeah, he's very easily uh, mm. flustered yeah. on edge. Mm. And did you say he's done this a lot? I, I, I you believe said that. so. But from what I gather from what he said, we have been the most difficult group to work with. I mean obviously so far i have seen 
jokes and bad the, stuff, yeah. but I don't think it yeah. can get any worse, honestly. Uh, well, I think some of the stuff Sybil's seen and Eddie's seen have been pretty... Uh, this is, really? I think, before I joined? What's the worst thing mm -hmm. you've seen? Oh, um, well, there was this place... And it was very grey, and I couldn't talk there because when you make noise, right. the purple gets closer. It's so very strange. The sky is all purple and lightning. It's very scary, and you can't make noise otherwise it comes for you. And then there was oh, another word. thing, and Jack was there, and there were these monsters that were coming for us. We were trying to get Sybil out, and I banished a lot of this from my memory. And I don't think the whispers. Where, where was that? I flew before, just before Killport, I think. That's like a week ago. Was it? That's, that's like a week ago. Was it just before Killport? Sorry, just out of character. I think it was after Killport. Yeah, it was yeah. just after Killport. Okay, so yeah, well, about a week ago. Yes, oh joy. Right, right. so it's... It it's feels a... like longer. Right, so it's constant <laughs> then. Yeah, it follows us, it's weird. I don't know how to get rid of it. I don't know what it is. I don't know where this other place is. I don't know how it gets into this world. Ah. I don't know what it wants with us. The purple place. The purple place doesn't want to leave us alone. It likes us. And then the hands are from there. And there are these the hands. monsters from and there. That's, and... that's another thing. Simple keeps from like saying hands. Yeah, what's, the, hand, the, the hands. Sometimes, sometimes. Is he going like a hand phobia? Yeah, he, don't touch him. No touch. Oh, oh. No touch. Uh, well, don't worry, I'm not gonna hum. <laughs> okay, cool. uh, the hands. Yes, it goes all cold. And then, like, there's ice, lots of ice, and the cracky, cracky noise. And then the hands come and, uh, and they, they try and grab you. And, not, uh, and I'm just found gonna any take like a of, shot like... of one of the flights of whiskey at this stage. Like, I need to steel myself more against this if I'm gonna talk about it. Right. Okay. Um, well, you're doing great, hon. You really oh, are. Thank you. And I'm so glad you came along. Like, I think we'd be very lost, very stuck without, without your help. And yeah. I'm just doing my best. You guys are doing great. You Thank really you. are. We're you're, doing, you're doing the good work. You are. We're trying. We're trying. We'll get there, I hope. Eventually. When? Well, that's my other question. We let. Do we. Do we really leave two drunk people to, like, look after the cart? Y yes. <laughs> Yes. I mean, that's... I can't blame myself. I was drunk at the time, too. And I... There was no way I was going back there. Not after the... Right. Weird, weirdness. Um, how long has it been? Uh... How's the how, sunset how, how, yet? how long has it been, Ben? A uh, couple of hours? Um, three. Maybe about three hours three. at this point. I mean, three hours. To get that far across the city... Yeah, find the stuff took to us like back. maybe an hour at tops to get there and back mm. but if you're drunk and you you know zigzaggy I, 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 I just this sense it's been a while it's been a yeah. while and I'm just worried maybe, I'm just worried maybe we should go look for or, we probably... or we've got a lovely room here mm -hmm. nap until they Turn up. They'll turn up somehow. Yeah, they, they, they always do. There'll be there'll be noise, and we right. follow the noise, and there'll be that nap. Yes, food right. nap. Food, and then if nap. they're not back, yeah, we can cross that bridge well, when we come to it. I I know a little prostitute downstairs that's got a whole array of nails, uh, like nail polish. We can mm -hmm. go for it and everything. We can do our nails. We can pamper. I, yes, I know it, hun. Yeah. I am on it. Excellent. So I will I will go downstairs and ask. Um her name is oh it's gonna be a good one. Her name is Spice. <laughs> uh, yeah. she is one of uh the other um uh -huh. girls that work there uh, under the, the the pimp called the spice rack. Um <laughs> I was about uh, to ask if she's got a friend called Sugar. No, no, oh, no, no, no it's, it's not Sugar. Oh, it's sugar Ginger. 
sporty. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh my days. Um, so yeah, I couldn't see that coming a mile away. <laughs> You, um, you make your way downstairs and get it reacquainted with your, your old friends. Yeah. Um, mm-hmm. The spicy girls. The spicy girls. Well, the spicy <laughs> women. The spicy <laughs> women, they're called. Um, remarkably, as you come down, they're kind of quite free. Normally, you're, you, you're used to going out to try and find one or two of them, of the many. Um, and they're all just kind of uh, grouped around a, in a small, um, very, very well-kept room that leads off to a series of smaller possibly less well-kept rooms um and they're just kind of meandering about sipping on wine um whiling away the hour um, as you make your way in uh, and the first one goes <gasps> jules <gasps> oh my god cumin that's that's the first spice i could think about <laughs> A <laughs> cumin. <laughs> it works on so many levels. You of men, cumin. It's it's great. Uh, I genuinely thought you said human. <laughs> human. That's the first time that came to my mind. No spice. <laughs> this is this is uh, uh, cumin. Oh my god, hon. How you been? <laughs> Compose. 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 Rough consent again. Uh, I feel sachet should be the right phrase now, you know, a sachet of human. <laughs> um, <laughs> kind of just prances away over to you, just gripped you a big kind of oh, How you been, girl? Oh, you know how it is down here. <laughs> <laughs> Always oh, oh, oh boy, do I do! I've been here so many times, you had not believe. I'm only me, me and my new girl, Sicily. I just met her. She is a uh, maze balls. You get on like a house on fire. We're doing like a little pamper night. Once, once you and the girls have finished with your shift, you're more than welcome to come up and, and hang out. But I know. Oh baby, we haven't had any work for a good couple of hours. Oh, then it's uh. It's quiet out there, too, and it's like a, it's like a church on Sunday out here. <laughs> oh, you. Anyway, I, kn- I know you have your box of stuff. I'm not meaning that kind of stuff. I mean, like, oh, and stuff which, which, like, <laughs> like me. No, it's not going to be that kind of sleepover. It's like, it's 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 the fun kind, oh, so not the, not the boring work. one, then. Yeah. Yeah. Mostly the boring one. I was just... I know I owed you last time for taking your shift, because you I know you had to go to the doctors about you know what. I, I was keep that quiet around here. Yeah, amongst the words, sister. What I'm saying, can I can I, between sisters, can I borrow some stuff? I, it'll be last time. I won't ask again. I'm fairly sure your last time was about four last times ago, Julia. <laughs> I say it every time, you know it, hun. Oh, I'm sure we can sort you out, darling. You just take a seat over there. I'll be right back. Thanks. Uh, 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 oh, okay. No, no. What, what is? Well, it? I was. I was just gonna ask. Um, mm-hmm. I just want the box, uh, if that's okay, so I can go up to my room and, and work with Sisley. Oh, cool. We got some stuff to go through. She's had, she's had a tough week. She's had a tough week. And don't worry. Uh, let me. Uh, paprika. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, yeah, baby. Hey, you mind fetching me the box for Jonesy here? Oh, this is so good. Paprika disappear off around the corner and come back home later carrying this lovely little snuff box full of whatever it is you need. Yeah. Thanks, hon. Go, I, I, I'll only need maybe an, a, a few hours um, just to kind of recoup, nap, you know. Mm. Uh, oh, and then you I've heard that. <laughs> Stop! Stop! I only have one time, and that was not my clothes. That was edible stuff. So that's not my <laughs> stuff. You know. Anyway, um, so it will only be a few hours. So if you really want, you can more than welcome to join in and and kind of relax. And, oh, and, baby, you can't afford me to join in. I, I'm not I'm not in that way, hunt. Oh, you. It's just like lift your feet up. Anyway, I'll see you later, hunt. We'll see you. 
And uh, as you go, she just gives you uh, mirroring your uh, little show to Curse uh, earlier. She just gives you a like, slap on the ass as you walk away. <laughs> <laughs> and you just kind of oh. make your way back up. Uh, meanwhile, Sicily, you're kind of just relaxing back on the beds, your drinks laid out in front of you, uh, having finished off another fistful of um, grapes. You just relax for a moment, just drinking cool. in the, the kind of ambience of the area, mm -hmm. the warmth of the room. Ben, yeah. because of how accommodating this is, uh, Cicely, do you have any mental kind of injuries at all? I do, I have one, and I'm not allowed to talk to myself to get rid of it. <laughs> but like some relaxation and some like... Yeah, so I go on the Would that one. help? Uh, yeah, Oh, current... definitively. Definitively, if you have any mental injuries. Um, as I'm you gonna relax my mental injury away. Go for it. So that's gonna, it, it's still gonna require a check. It will be a wool resilience check. Difficulty, how many in mental injuries do you have? Just the one? Just one. Yep, just be difficulty two in that case. Okay. Can so I help? Two uh, successes. Not right now, as you, unless you're waiting until you come back to kind of try and do it all then. Well, it's yeah. just more like the whole night of like yeah. painting your nails and whatever. I don't know. Yeah. If you're going to track this as like the whole evening's activities, that's absolutely fine as well, in which case you can definitively aid. Okay. Mm -hmm. Yes, yes, please. Uh, do I roll just one? Sorry? Yeah, just the one. Cool. Uh, bear with me because I looked at that, forgot my maths. Uh, did you say will resilience? Will resilience, yeah. yeah. I love how this is putting so much faith into the idea that none of the rest of the party are going to arrive until at least the yeah. dead of night. <laughs> I got one success. I got one success as well. Perfect. Uh, remove the mental injury as the two of you spend the next few hours just relaxing. <laughs> Enjoying each other's company, making the, the best of your newly acquired spoils. I think that's the first time that word's ever been said in the history of this campaign. Hmm? Relaxing. 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 Yeah. It's great. You should never try it sometime. Yeah. I've never it's heard lush. that word before. These are really fluffy pillows up here. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if only I knew what the pub was, I'd be joining. I, well. I, <laughs> just, I just want to point out, as far as you two are concerned, Jack and Edlin are still outside the city. Yeah, because we're still waiting for you guys, uh, for the people to come back with the uh, carriage. Because <laughs> I was, I, my, in my head, I was going to ask... Um, <laughs> Sybil oh. to ask uh, Pending to send a note being like, meet us in wherever we're mm -hmm. going to go pick oh, them up. My. I was oh, going to do but, that, but I wouldn't have thought of it if I'm drunk. Guys. <laughs> They're also it's not here. Fine. We just need to meet. It's fine. <laughs> and it's, it's only been like a couple of hours, so. Yeah, it hasn't been that long. It, it will be. It'll turn it will turn. Be. Oh, it will be. Not enough time for us to mess it up at all, right? No, no. Never mess hours. things up. What do you want about? Happened? Exactly. Hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh no, we're all gonna say. I'm surprised we're not already. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, meanwhile, Edlin. Hola. ¿Cómo te llamas? <laughs> That's, like, that's, not, that's my name. Uh, well, how about English? <laughs> no, no, Superman, no, here, I clean. No, no. Huh? Edlin, you have been stumbling through the streets for a short amount, uh, a longer time now after exiting the, the, the small kind of um, back alleys and the uh, kind of open green area uh, where you tried to, well, borrow uh, a disguise thankfully your ramblings through the streets seem to have gone mostly ignored not by trying to not draw too much attention to yourself once you hit them you, you just kind of move as rapidly through them as you can mm. still unable to move your hands still struggling to move your neck in any other manner uh, you are just moving with hope in your heart um, i need you to make two checks for me one being a agility stealth check uh, which is going to be difficulty one, as you're not actively being sought out in those streets at the moment. Would my um, perfect timing think help with that as well? Not in this scenario, no, unfortunately. Think, as, but it's always yeah. good to ask. Damn right. Um, and I'm also going to need you to make a insight survival check of two to try and find your way kind of back towards anywhere you want to be. Orienteering. 
Orienteering will definitely help you here. Okay, we'll do agility. You say agility stealth? Correct. Okay, we'll do that first. Two passes. Wonderful. Um, for the most of it, you move completely unnoticed. Mm -hmm. Maybe a glance here or there kind of tracks you, takes some note of the the odd way you're moving, the, the strange body augmentations you seem to have, but piercings and tattoos are as ready as anything else. Some people this just write just it off, really make yeah, bloody teenagers. Thing. I just really, really like body modification, what can I say? Yeah. Um, and it was, what was something? Insight Survival 2. Insight Survival 2. and a 17. You try to find your way back through uh, the streets to uh, the carriage, uh, getting some semblance of an idea of where you are or where you've been, but the streets are just alien to you. You've never spent any significant uh, or significant time in South Skirt, uh, least of all to kind of build up an idea of the back alleys and the streets of the, um, the lower quarters. And you just meander almost aimlessly for a while, um, still struggling to move um, your hands, your neck. And with this... I, like, I just want to say if there's any point where I'm against the wall and there's no one watching, mm -hmm. I'm just going to start like smacking my hand against the wall so I can like break some of the dried blood iron away because yeah. the hands you, are what make my character i kind of need those you, you do have a moment where you can try and you just try and slam your hand against the wall uh, and you realize that that the iron itself isn't moving because it's fused itself in uh, to the point that it's less of uh, iron that has been essentially uh, draped over your hand and then hardened you can, upon any level of inspection, you realize that it's quite literally replaced the skin. It connects directly to the skin of the rest of your hand. Uh, make me a will resilience check difficulty two. You can I, like weld your sword to your hand. Figure this out. Will resilience, yeah? Yep. Yeah. Yes, a natural one and an eight, so three passes. You, you spend a bit of time just kind of, uh, you take your way into a smaller kind of alcove, not quite an alleyway, but you it's uh, just a slight side street um, that strings off into a, a few houses that kind of go up a small hill. And just out of view, you continue to just flex your hand for a moment, trying to at the very least, and then as you focus and as you concentrate on it, you do actually get one of your fingers to move. You see the iron twist and elongate, mimicking skin as much as physically possible. It almost liquefies before rehardening as the finger stops. You then get another to move and the next and the next until eventually you find yourself able to move the entirety of your right hand. The iron remolding as you move. Is it getting easier to move the more I like focus on it, or is it still kind of particularly hard? Significantly, um, to the point where you actually find that your hand has its full range of motion in it. And okay. as you start to try and focus on the other one, Alistair. I have a working hand now. If anyone near me, you're going to get bitch slapped and then bitch. It's also a working metal hand. Yeah. <laughs> Side Only hand. on the interior. The, the exterior is still skin. The you did hear me when I. Just going to have to palm everything. You did hear me when I said bitch slap, right? Yeah. <laughs> the cup, you know, and then. No, we don't cup. No. Again, no. I'm going to make a Kill Bill reference. Cup. It's very Cross. much like when she's just sat in the car going, wiggle your big toe. That's all I had through my head there. Let's get the rest of these piggies wiggling. Yeah, literally what she said. As for Alistair, after leaving your uh, your last acquaintance, the old lady, uh, you made your way back into the street trying to track down Edelyn. Her, the, the small amount of scent that you could almost taste on the air from her passing has faded over the last 
hour or so of trying to hunt her. The adrenaline spike in your body has just kind of descended at this point, and you can just feel the ache across the interior of your mouth and, and down. But the taste is still there, swirling around in the back of your mouth, uh, in the back of your throat, and if anything, in the back of your head. How would you like to be pursuing at this point? Well, I think at this point, he's hopefully having had the taste and having had the sort of uh, moment with the old lady at the peak, it's it's coming down off it slightly and it's, it's starting to feel more normal and starting to realize what he's done to one extent or another. So I think he's probably going to think about it and go if I chase her at this point she's just going to think that it's more of the same and mm -hmm. the only way of doing this is to sit down across a campfire or several drinks and to try and rebuild some trust or do something in that regard so he's, he's probably going to try and find a puddle which at this point is not going to be caring how grim the puddle looks and try and wash off some of this you know sort of caked on blood and as much of the sort of any iron residue that may be flicked around the mouth and on the clothes and then probably just try and head back to the head back to the bar because he thinks well she's probably going to go back there so I'll just I'll try, I'll try, I'll try and reconcile there if at all possible easily done you find yourself a puddle, it doesn't take long. It's been raining for the last few days, so you find just a, a little bit of cover and use that just to get the worst of the blood off. In the reflection, you can see the ruin um, of your mouth um, at this point. Several teeth now missing, um, large gashes uh, littering the exterior, your exterior lips, and large kind of tears in your gum, even in the tongue. And just kind of this slow, occasional leakage of blood and the exterior and just the, the kind of very slight tinge of black in every drop. Washing yourself down, you take back to the streets and try and to navigate your way through and make your way back to the oil lantern. If I can get a... <clears throat> Inside, uh, an inside survival check of two from you, please. Just as you're kind of a little bit turned around at this point. Uh, is that is two failings, one of which is a complication. You start making your way through the streets. You, you know the way. Once you kind of find the initial path, it shouldn't be overly difficult. You just need to find a street you recognize. You, you've been through here before. You just very, very turned around. So it's more the amount of time you waste trying to make your way back to the oil lantern than anything else. And it's a significant period of time. Four, five hours are spent of you just slowly meandering your way through the streets, passing everyone and anyone you see the entirety of the city slowly kind of close down you pass shops as they close their doors lock up for the evening uh, cafes as they bring their, their goods out for the evening and the sun low, slowly starts to set in the distance and you can just feel the cool warmth of the night spreading across the city uh, by the time you come to cross over the bridge uh, that leads into uh, Faith View Hills and down towards the oil lantern it is edging towards 9 10 o'clock at night your body is exhausted at this point um, gain a point of fatigue for me from your kind of just ramblings through. And if anything, you feel mentally drained as much as physically. 
the, the, the significant warmth and joy that the taste earlier gave you uh, now seems just bitter in your lip, uh, in your tongue. And as you kind of start making your way down, looping through the streets along the canal where you can see happy, normal people making their way up and down, enjoying the evening, some singing as they move, others several cups in already uh, pass by you, smiling and joking in your direction. Um, one drunkard even kind of make their way up to you. You seem like a tough lad. Go on, fight me. As his friend just kind of leans over, ignore him, he's had too many, and just starts kind of pulling him away from you. <laughs> as you just get closer and closer to the oil lantern. Edelin. Eventually, as the hours kind of while on, at roughly the same time that Alistair makes his way back, you finally stumble through the last of the streets to find um, Sybil. Leaning, kind of tucked into themselves, head between their... Just buried in their hands, um, asleep. Just com the exhaustion having at this point just claimed them. Um, outside the carriage. Mm -hmm. Roughly at the same time, um, you uh, as you arriving, um, you see Jack coming from the another direction, carrying um, Sam, just making their way down towards the carriage and yourself. At this point, you've managed to get your other hand working as well, yeah. and your neck even kind of at the point where you can move to a, uh, a slight degree. I was going to ask if I've done this, if I did the, what I did in my hands and neck to, for a bit, so that's good now. I'm not stuck at an awkward angle. Mm. Um, I guess upon seeing Sam, Sybil, and Jack, there's just a, there's just like a look of just relief on her face that these guys haven't been hurt or like injured at all. And at this point, she's going to collapse, and just like not like collapse and like pass out, collapse, but just collapse and sit down next to Sybil and just stuff swear not even wishing like proper tuition just like swearing so they know that she's just had a fucking day <laughs> at the same point you can just at the same time you can just hear her just going i, I see alistair I swear. <sighs> lots of threats that then turn into wishing because she's saying words that no no child ever needs to hear you just let the string of curses come out um, Sybil, you're kind of roused just by the movement nearby. Uh, anything from yourself or Jack? Ah, uh, please. Swear so quiet, sir. Um, holding Sam, I'm gonna kneel down next to Edlin and just sort of put my hand over, put my arm over her shoulder and bring her in on it to a hug. Just pat her shoulder a few times. It's all right. Get it out. It's constant swearing. She's just in a swearing thing. It's literally that point where it's half wishing, half chalicean, so you can kind of make out some of it, but it is just, she's mad. She's very mad. Okay, so, okay, okay, thank you. You look like you need it. And I'll make my way into the car. You just clamber up. Uh, sorry, go on, Tim. Oh, no. Uh, uh, I forgot now. Never mind. <laughs> you, you clamber up into the car and go to try and find um, some semblance of the rations that you'd stored away before you entered. Um, just rummaging through and freeing out just a, a few bits and pieces, uh, a little bit to drink. And kind of make your way back down the stairs to both Sybil, Edline, and Sam as the cool air of the night continues and the nightlife and sounds of the city continue on. You know, I heard a good bit of advice, and I'm not sure where I heard this from, but if you hate everyone else, eat something. If you feel like everyone hates you, have a nap. If you hate yourself, have a talk. And you look like you hate everybody right now, so 
Have fun, Chloe. I, I take the food that he's found and just like I said, I've been I've been kind of running for a while, so mm-hmm. she's gonna be hungry. So yeah, she just takes the food, offers a bit to Sam, yeah. uh, maybe off, offers it quickly to Sybil and Jack, see if they want any, and then if they don't, eats and starts to slowly calm down. You can see the food does help because the advice is true. Okay. You need to eat if everybody hates you. I will. I, I'm not going to say the exact quote in my head because I'm scared of copyright, so... <laughs> I'll, get, I'll get portions for everyone. With that, you kind of spend just a, the next bit of time, just the three of you, four of you, quietly eating across the city. Jules and Sicily, you enjoy yourselves. I was, I was going to say, yeah. can I get Sicily ready for her date? <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, hell yeah. She's yeah. going to look just like a prostitute. It's going to be amazing. Because <laughs> <laughs> that is the only way I know how to dress. <laughs> <laughs> just a montage of me going more cleavage, more cleavage <laughs> now when you walk breasts first, I promise it works every time <laughs> feminism yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh boy <laughs> that was no. uh oh, no. No, yeah. none of the rest um, of the stream has disturbed me apart from that max <laughs> there's, there's, there's two blood, sides like... there's two sides there's our side of there's the horror side and then there's the there's a horror side, side. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the true After horror spending was the uh, a couple of hours together you prepare sicily masterfully or as masterfully as you believe i mean how, how far are you going to let that go sicily uh, <laughs> I mean, Cecily has like Dora zero Doctor. concept of like dating and like so- oh, no. these social things. So, according to Cecily, like Jules is just the master of everything. So, I'm going 100% with what she suggests. Oh no. <laughs> she's easily done. Okay. Um, as you kind of finalize getting uh, Cecily ready, um, to, to the best of your ability. Um, there's a slight knock on your door as you kind of get her properly primmed and prepped. <laughs> and yeah, so just, just a... One moment! <laughs> pow, you got a pow. I feel like the pow... Yeah, got it, got it. Hey! Um, and the door opens uh, to reveal ginger beer. <laughs> oh, hey, huh? Oh. What do you think? I just kind of wave slightly coyly, but a little awkwardly, and then... Yeah. Pout badly. <laughs> what Lovely right? beer. Right? Very, very nice, but very much the wrong tree to be barking up. Um... <laughs> And then turns back uh, and just kind of goes, one of yours has just turned up. You may want to come and take a look. As Alistair, you at this point have kind of come down the stair. I assume you're heading just straight in, as you mentioned earlier. Uh, Yeah, just straight in and, and down. Just sort of collapse onto the closest chair that I can find. You you've been there for a few mom- uh, a few minutes now, kind of just leaning over on one of the tables, um, having found a chair relatively easily. Um, Jules and Sicily, you're you're kind of brought out into the mm-hmm. bar, and you can see Alistair just there, mm-hmm. kind of leaning over into himself, face torn up. <laughs> mm-hmm. And. Just bearing in mind that I can't walk in heels, so I'm just like <laughs> wobbling away <laughs> at this and stage. Um, as but... you kind of leave and wobble your way over to them, <laughs> just closing the door behind you into the room you came from, 
There's just just as you close it, you hear the faintest scrape of nails on glass. Why do you do this? I'm not my heels. And that is where we will end it for this week. Oh, I was going to oh. catch Alistair up. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> oh, okay. Well. There is another week. Um, we went a little bit later because we lost some time for me not being able to talk. So thank you for bearing with us, everyone. And thank you once again to our wonderful cast, uh, providing us of all sorts of wonderful moments, horrifying <laughs> moments, and love. <laughs> um, once again, we want to say thank you to our sponsors um, for lending us a hand throughout. And more important and also of course to our cast once more so if you don't mind giving us a rundown of who you are where we can find you and where we'll be next week lynn fire away hello uh i'm lynn i am also known as cecily i am also known as pan uh i have my own twitch channel which i am popping into chat right now so i am and also an art streamer i will be live tomorrow for midday bst um i do black and white dot work if you want to see me make cityscapes and fan art and other <laughs> lovely things yeah feel free to come hang out wonderful thank you very much holly uh hello i am holly uh i play edlin i'm not gonna sleep tonight so thanks ben my insomnia <laughs> gets to go on another day um you can find me on instagram at holly ida healy on twitter at holly healy seven i say i do music i haven't done much music in a while because brain doesn't want to do stuff um yeah um i may definitely need therapy after this <laughs> uh, but i saved the kid so i'm happy that's my goal today mm. so yeah. i did hey. that at least yeah well done uh, Silver line. And Billy. Oh, uh, hello, I'm Billy. Uh, I am here. I will be here next week, forever trapped in this eternal cycle of torment and torture. And, uh, you know, you can see the progression of my slow fear of hands as it slowly develops over the weeks. Um, I am nowhere else on the internet, really, not really. And, um, and once again, I'm slowly working on a world building project but that's not out yet. So you have to come back next week and watch the whole episode to find out if I've made any progress. So you just have to come back. I'll see you later. So no progress yet, but next week we can find out the updates of the progress that you will be making. That isn't there. Yeah, yeah, okay, got <laughs> it. The update will most yeah. likely find be out. that there is no progress. Okay, cool. Find cool. The but you can find of the out updates of the updates, basically. Uh, you never know. It's a gamble. And Diego. Hello, I'm Jago Ash, the resident dice goblin. Um, yes, you need more dice. Whatever you were thinking, buy those dice and use our sponsors. Thank you very much. Max? Hi, I'm Max. I play Jules. I'll be here next week. Um, I'll, I'll keep it quick. See ya. <laughs> <laughs> James? Hi, I'm James. I'm at Gillen Stern on uh, Twitter. Um, my other company <clears throat> is Follow Black Cats, at Follow Black Cats. You should go and follow Black Cats. We're great and we do a load of cool, fun stuff. Uh, my job on this stream is to basically mentally scar Holly and exasperate and disgust Max. And I think I'm doing a good job. You're doing great. I'm, 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 I'm getting yeah. that, right? Yeah. yeah. I mean, I like uh, it, but I don't... Uh, no. Please stop. <laughs> <laughs> and despite my internet very much trying to stop me, I am still Ben. Um, and we will see you here again. Not next week, as we take a short break for everyone to recuperate, have their various therapy sessions, or drink <laughs> away the nightmares, as I do. That's the so one. we will see you in two weeks. Thank you very much, everyone. Have a lovely night. Bye. 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 Bye.